Hey, what's up, guys? We're back here today. You sound like Pokemon. Bro, shut up. If you was Pokemon, I'd be. The crazy. Light Bright Pod, Episode Six. We got a we got a guest a guest speaker on the day. Introduce yourself. Touchdown. Wait, no. what? <laughs> it's your boy Pat Summer. Nah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> DJ YT man in the building. I think we got it. You know, here to Chase. chop it up with my boys. Oh, we got that, me. got that big the light, Bryce. Call me super I feel like I fit right in. Chrono Trigger we himself in, a, in the house. We live in a society. We do live in a society. <laughs> Tell him. Let him know. If if y'all haven't seen The Joker, which I'm assuming y'all haven't, Nigga, go watch that bitch. Yesterday. Mad nigga seen it. Mm, I feel like everybody stayed home not to get shot. Ooh. I was thinking I was going to get shot. I'm not going to lie to you. I was thinking, I was thinking Chase was finna st- stand up and let that bitch sing. Just air it out real quick. Just bro. air that bitch out. Bro, we don't even know white people. Man. All right, but now nah, we, all right, we getting on the things. We getting on the things. No more distractions. All right. What about some distractions? <laughs> uh, you Give fucking gay. Yeah. I had no choice. All right, nah. All right, on to. Wait, hold on. Uh, what's the, your? What are your teams you follow? Man, uh, I'm a Steelers fan, man. Steelers fan for life. Damn. And, uh, it's tough you know, road. grew up in Oklahoma. So Yuck. Had to watch them boys and had to watch the Chiefs all the time. So, yeah, I follow them. But It'd be amazing to be a I'm Chiefs a fan right now. Fan. Facts. I'm glad I'm all day. Fan. I'd be on hard all right. every Sunday. Yeah. Hey, all right. You look like so, <laughs> uh, anyways. First topic, guys. All right. Speaking of the Chiefs. They're no more contenders, the Patriots. Mm-hmm. Y'all saw how my man Brady looked this week? Didn't he throw for like 150 yards or something? 150. Now, nah, it was a good as the, the Bengals defense. They played the Bills. I mean, the Bills defense. Yeah, the Bills do got They defense good. nice. They got a good second. I'm not going to flex. They got the, that boy Sean McDermott been working, working. They came out with the Talking about Bill uh, He do kind of look like him. I'm, I'm yeah, not going to lie. Like he Buffalo almost something. clipped them guys, though. Yeah, no, it was actually a pretty close game. The- Eight till oh, fucking uh, Jason Jones clipped. What's his name? <laughs> oh, fucking Josh Allen got his shit banged Boy. in. I mean, Josh Allen a bum. But his pass rate was like a 49.2. Bro, that's what Matt that was Ryan had ass. Week. Bro, don't disrespect Matt Ooh. Ryan, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, it's Tom Brady. Matty Ice. We, they're, we're always going to say this because, I mean, one time we're going to be right. Right. But is the age catching up? No, no. But dude. like. No, it's probably not. But year. one day we're gonna Everybody say that and we're gonna that. be right. It was a That's September a game, year. bro. He's always asked the first month. Yeah, and he was not trying to get hit at all. Huh? Is Brady watch it up? When you put the rush on Brady. You, yeah. Yeah, you can't blitz him, but if you can get pressure with like four, right? You can do some damage that man. But that, I mean, that's yeah, every put a big rush Somebody need to just kill him already. But just you just gotta take out his knees. No, nah, he man, like end his life. Uh no, cause that then nigga, he's gonna kiss her son. Bro, yeah, he be doing that. Who's G- gonna kiss his son? <laughs> he be me, doing bro. that G Herbo pack on his son. Yeah, now he be bro. some mood to that. Bro, man. you saw but G hey, Herbo he with it from Belichick. He was fucking. Yeah, he, he was, was all, making out yeah. with his kid. He said, "Give me kiss, uh, fat yeah. boy," <laughs> and was straight smack on that man's lips. <laughs> they said, "His, hey, his, his, like, his son is like one, bro. Come on, man. I still get you get one kiss another man on his mouth. Even when my kid won, he's still a man." Bro, don't you kiss your <laughs> homies on the mouth? That's different. That has nothing to do with wow. family, bro. Come on now. I be learning more and more about y'all all the time. Hey, bro. <laughs> I do all right. So, um, so Brady's agent and catch no two missions to. No, I, I think it, I, I don't think it's either. I I think <laughs> he'll have some be. bad games this season, but I feel like playoff time coming, that nigga finna bang. Yeah, next year he'll be good. Or no, I mean next year. I don't think next year is his last one. Yeah, the Patriots Belichick. always always go like thirteen and three, so I feel like. They it's did like get uh, Cody Kessler. A couple games that Brady oh, just yeah, don't play his that. best. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He he going to save his clutch moments. But right. But they got that boy uh, Cody Kessler, too. At like, we got the, the third backup. Who's the second backup? But for now. Uh, it's that. Oh, Brady Hoyer? Yeah. No, he Brian just leaning Hoyer. on that Whatever. defense. Brady Hoyer? Yeah, that nigga was nice like for that, like though. two years. X. He's looking like Matt Ryan out there. Anyway, moving on. Uh, don't. I'm a, I'm tired of this disrespect. Are the Cowboys bitch. for real, nigga? They just lost. I know. I was kidding. <laughs> it, but it's just because this is the first good team they've played. And I wouldn't even say the C, the Saints are, like, nice. They're the best right. team in the NFC. 
Uh, Somebody said that. It's been a random fucking ass. The fucking kind of surprising. Packers are ass. The Bears, they're, are ass. Their defense is so legit, but their offense, mm. I feel like their offense might be better with. Man, they got Chase Daniel out there. I feel like they might be better with Chase Daniels. They need Colt McCoy. With a fucking mm. striped helmet. But they need Colt McCoy. Get them niggas Colt McCoy. Bears win a Super Bowl. All right. Mm-hmm. Bro, you you can't lie. But nah. Uh, but yeah, I I, I think. Surprise this, Chase I think they just got challenged, the really. This is the first time they've been challenged, and I don't think they were ready for it. They still going to go, nah, you know, 11 and 5 yeah, and shit. Yeah, facts. They still going to be all right. That's because their schedule yeah. is not hard. No. Yeah, I mean, they the got to go through. Danny Dimes one more time though. They definitely so is that a guarantee? Is that a guaranteed they loss? They didn't play him the first time either, right? No, nah, it was Eli. Bro, if he beat that nigga, it's wraps for that fr- that franchise. What are they gonna pay? That? Bro, if Daniel Jones going to Dallas and beat the Cowboys, Jason Garrett getting fired? Yeah. No, Jason yeah. Garrett's not gonna get fired. I think if, if, if they have Garrett, an eight and eight season, I if think they don't go fired, to the NFC Championship, if they go this playoffs, year, I feel it's like, like they make playoffs. Mm, they'll fight. They probably won't say shit. He should be fired. Get him out of here. I feel like Jerry Jones is going to be like, nah, nah he's good. Bro, he Real got talk. the most wins in NFC the last three years. I don't know, bro. Uh, You're a pretty good coach. Yeah, I, can't, yeah. I can't lie. What was their worst Much record? as everybody don't want to admit it. I, don't know, I just feel you know like, I, mean? I feel like that team is always, besides that one thir- uh, I say that because I was thinking years. about Mike Tomlin and how that nigga is like, Whoa. be re- ridiculed That's all the time. Fucking racist. And I'm like, uh-huh. Them Wait, niggas didn't even like get to the Mike playoffs Tomlin. last Wait, year. Well, you don't like Mike Tomlin? Cowboys went to, huh? You don't like Mike Tomlin? Nah, I fucks with Mike Tomlin. Oh, no, nah, I'm saying oh, like, shut up. They, I know you were saying he was black Jason Garrett, but no, that's Marvin Lewis. If you shit know, you know yeah. what I mean. Nah, bro, if you shit know Mike Tomlin. Five playoff games. Bro. You said he shit know Mike Tomlin. No, nah, I'm saying if people shit know Mike Tomlin. Bro. Oh no, I All think right, that's I, I never thought Jason that's because he's black. Besides that year, they went thirteen and three. Yeah, nah. I feel like they've been underachieving. Like they should have been doing more. They have. I mean, you might be right, but Tony Romo also might have been a bum. Mm-hmm. That nigga mm-hmm. made him look good. Mm-hmm. Nah, but what saved his career That's is his commentating to, career. Was that Eastern Illinois? I feel like that made everybody like even niggas like me who didn't really like Tony Romo. Now I kind of like him. Yeah, I'm a cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, man, <laughs> hey, my nigga was kind of nice at quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> nigga personality. Hey, bro, I think you remember that game against the fucking. Broncos when he had 500 yards and like, five touchdowns. Yeah. Announcers don't be they getting fucking deals with and niggas blaming beer companies. He, he threw that pick at the end. Yeah. This I mean, nigga is the fun. face of Corona now. But staying in the NFC East. That commercial was off. fucking awful, nigga. Yeah, I hate that <laughs> I've been wanting to turn my fucking, <laughs> that's my just fucking so wack. cell phone out at work that's watching just, the game. I, that I I'm just be. saying, like, you got to have personality as an announcer to get a deal with fucking anybody. Oh, yeah, nigga. His rebrand is crazy. You know what I mean? Too many advertising deals. But staying in NFC East. Yeah, I'm saying. That boy Jay Gruden. Got, hey. got caught macking. Yeah, what's it? I want to know. What, smoking. Because this topic is moving a hotter hanging. seat. Dan macking Quinn or Jay Gruden? Stupid. But I got a question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Is Jay Gruden's seat hotter than that blunt ski he had in his hand? Nah, that hoe was kind of hot. Oh. I bet Listen. that female he was with. Nah, she looked I can <laughs> take you high. But, yeah. She had to be fine. No, Brady for him. Well, imagine being a millionaire. I ain't even seen the video. Imagine being a millionaire and flirting with an ugly chick. Nigga, think about T.I. Mm. every time he come in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh damn, damn that's messed up, bro. bro. this nigga said, I know T.I. a nice guy. It's like no in between with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you you think Tiny is cute or you don't. It's I've like, never thought anybody thought Tiny is cute. You on the cool. Like, nigga, been like either. the 90s. Yeah, yeah. But like some niggas think she's just She was always wearing shit. that hat, though, so you couldn't see her face. <laughs> like niggas saw her ass. But anyway, we're getting off topic. <laughs> yeah, okay. But yeah, for y'all though, who don't know, there was like a video found. I don't yeah. know if they proved it was Jay Gruden, but it looked like it, it looked was him. a lot like Jay And Gruden. when they said Jay, 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 that nigga looked away <laughs> from the screen. Maybe yeah. he's just a, uh, a yeah. doppelganger and he's just mad because everybody calls him Jay Gruden. Yeah, now Jay was, you know, Jay was macking on a little college hoe, smoking a little weed. Yeah. Will now this affect his standing with Dan Snyder, the nigga who allowed his t- cheerleaders to get fucking molested? And the niggas oh, yeah. that don't want to. Oh, you didn't hear about that? No, no, I, no, I really didn't. Uh, yeah, nah. but I, was, I don't. Go ahead. I don't know if we talked about it on the show before either, so I'll break down for the listeners. Ooh. All right, so Dan Gruden had like a bunch of niggas who donate to the Redskins or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. give them money and shit. Yeah. He organized like a trip for the like the boosters the and boosters. shit. And uh, it was in like Puerto Rico, I think. So, mm-hmm. no, not Puerto Rico. It was like. South America, but it's a country that oh. we we don't, you know, live like so they had to get their passports and shit to right. go and he made the cheerleaders go. It was like an unpaid uh what are them things called? 
work trip or whatever. Not a work trip. No, it was something they said it was like it, they said it like it was a vacation for them. Right. Which if you know your boss taking you somewhere you don't have to pay. Right. Low key, but mm-hmm. I so nigga. After that, what they did is they took away the cheerleaders' passports, you know, for safekeeping. Mm-hmm. And they was like, all right, so go with these niggas and show these niggas a good time. Uh, but the girls was like, we felt threatened because they was like, you know, don't embarrass the, you know, the Redskins or whatever. Right. Which pretty much translated to like, let Y'all these niggas beat your cheeks or anything. you're not getting your passport back and you're not getting back to the States. Wow. Damn. So, yeah, they've been in trial for like three years or whatever because it's like 20 cheerleaders. And was like, really? yeah, no, this nigga fucking farmed us out to these niggas. Damn. I didn't even hear about that. How did I? This yeah, no, that was, that was that boy Dan Snyder. Dan Snyder's a fucking yeah. The J Crew's good. He's a, a douchebag. Yeah, I mean if Dan, Dan Snyder's Snyder, probably at that party. Bro. You can look at that nigga and tell he's a Dan Snyder's a probably bitch. rolled the blunt. You talking about Dan Snyder? Some, yeah, bro, it's crazy because you got Dan Snyder, the owner of the Rescues, who's a fucking deviant, bro. and then you got Dan Snyder, that nigga who made the iCarly shows that was out here like molesting <laughs> the cast members. <laughs> like that's just that's a, funny. a nasty name for a nasty nigga. Nah, fan base. Damn, I think about naming my children that. Dan With Schneider. Dan Snyder yeah. Robertson? Yeah, Dan Snyder Robertson. I guess not anymore. Snyder. Nope. It was bad. Damn, right. I guess you got to name him yeah, after your dad. That name. Jay Gruden. But the Redskins, though, like, being part Indian, them niggas ain't never going to win shit until they change their name. Fact. And they said being part Indian. I, <laughs> like I got my card. Like that is Wait, are name, you, man. like, dot on the head Indian or feathers? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just playing. That's offensive. We call them the first people now. You know what I mean? Listen. Wait, do you... Wait, who's Native the Indian in your family, Indian my territory. Huh? I said, who's in? Is it like your mom or your dad? My mom. Do they like do or do they prefer being called Native Americans? Because I've heard some that be saying they like being called like First People or whatever. Um, you know, I really I can't answer that because he's called Grandma and Granny. It's just like um, hey, I just, it's all I, semantics. I just call them. Pale I don't know faces. if the community as a whole uh-huh. would like be opposed to being called Indians, but Native Americans sound better. Probably just sound, depend on who you're talking to, really. Right. Just you, preference thing. I prefer to PC. not talk to them at all. Because some, like, it's just like the world, like, uh, shit. Some niggas is, like, really, like, sticklers. And some yeah. Some niggas is, like, real cool about everything. So. Yeah, like, you know those fucking, like, those nigga, black people who won't let us say the N-word, even though we invented it. Like, what are you doing? That's so ugly. Anyway, we, we getting off topic again, fellas. But I didn't know. You know what the Redskins means, though? Like, why it's offensive? Because it's calling their skin red? No, no, no. That's not it. That's why it's even worse. Like, when you hear what a Redskin actually is. What? No, Redskin would be like, they would, like, uh, fucking kill the Indians. Mm-hmm. And they would, no, they would have fucking, uh, fucking blood running down their face when they were, like, dead. Mm-hmm. From, you know, being cut up and shit. Right. Damn. So, Redskin meant, like, Indian that, like. Got blood on their face because we, you know, fucking. So it's not even, it's yeah. worse than just nah, Native American. It's like, yeah, Native cool. American person, we like disrespected and shit. Yeah. I don't want to be getting too far into my Native yeah, American yeah. roots because I'm only like right. but back a on fraction. Topic. But still. <laughs> we ain't even talked about Dan Quinn yet. Yeah, this was supposed to be oh, a yeah. who's on the the hotter seat, Dan Quinn or Jay Gruden, but I don't know. I say Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn, but no, we have been. What? Cause I y'all think, y'all was recently good more, or I'll let you go on your soapbox. Uh, okay, I can I can understand Dan, that. Okay, the rest has been. But it's just the way the team comes out and performs some games is mm-hmm. just like this whole season. Right. Besides, like the Eagles game, which we should have lost, so mm-hmm. we should be zero and four right now. Mm-hmm. But the team just underperforms. Like the Real talk. like you come out and get blasted by the Vikings, who we see aren't even. Like, that good. Like, they're all right against bad teams. But when it comes up to a good team, they're going to get slacked. And we get blasted by them. Kirk Cousins had to throw 10 passes to easily beat us. Man. Then, the fucking, the Eagles game, you know, that's, that's that. We should, like I said, we shouldn't have won that shit. That's Because Nelson Aguilar dropped a wide open touchdown pass. Plus, there was clear holding on the Julio <laughs> Jones touchdown. Uh, no, there wasn't. That was a great block. Yes, there was. <laughs> no, there wasn't. Great block. That dude blocks. that was saving people, he was like. <laughs> and then we lost to the fucking Titans. Catching babies. I'm like, which we got Aguilar. slacked by the fucking Titans, too, which is. it's Marcus Mariota's looking like a fucking Tom Brady in that bitch. He looked like he was 44, poised, wise, <laughs> making, just dotting us up. Jacoby Brissett did the same thing to us, too, so. Oh. I think I feel like it's the defense we run, but I don't know. I feel like our offense also got to produce more points. So we haven't been going against like no great defenses or nothing. Right. And the offense is just 
And y'all got two Tate seemingly Lackman. pretty good rece- like. We got you know, a good offense. Good receivers. Our our O line is kind of trash now, and Devontae Freeman is looking like he trash now. Yeah. But besides that, yeah, our offense. Like, yeah. I just want running back shelf life. I just want to remind the listeners <laughs> real quick. Backs, yeah, we just paid him like two years ago. Too. Hey, hey right. it's been, crazy how running backs already, that look good. They just be looking. Yeah, trash, one injury and like so yeah. fast. Give me a sec, bro. We can get right back on this. I just want to remind the listeners. This nigga Kane said Devontae Freeman was better than Christian McCaffrey when the season started. Ooh. But I didn't say he was better. Yes, I did. said I would take yes, him over did. Christian McCaffrey. You oh, did. Yes, and I said a healthy Devontae Freeman. Nah, you did. It's, it's cool. Bro. But I can't say <laughs> shit anyway. Well, let's get back to Devontae dis- Freeman bashing. Full disrespect that boy, to Christian McCaffrey as I see trash. Now. Don't disrespect Ren CMC, bro. You said who? Devontae Freeman's trash. That's what I said. Oh, yeah, no. I. But he's looking like Matt Ryan out there, actually. That nigga's just slow. And he got no move. Because Michael Turner wasn't that fast, but he was, you know, spinning, grinning, winning. Uh, Michael Turner just <laughs> ran forward. That's that's <laughs> yeah. what that man did. He didn't Broke do that, that piece of shit. But, yeah, so I would say I still think Gruden's on the hotter seat because they have a rookie quarterback. So you kind of – and Jay Gruden doesn't even like the quarterback. But he's a black quarterback, though. He black even, quarterback. He didn't even like the quarterback, so he's great. He didn't even like the quarterback. And he kind of fucking up the season. Like, they've had three different starters already. Which is ridiculous to only be four games in the season. And so, Damn, they still got... I think Jay Gruden, I think I think it's the last one. I think they lose like, one or two more games and he gets fired. I think Dan Quinn stays nah, till the end of the season. I think he gets we fired fight. after this weekend, Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. If they get blown out, plus with the little Weedle video but, coming out. Yeah. Especially, yeah. Well, I think that... Playing New England. New England about to trounce their ass and Jay Gruden about to get fired. I think Dan Quinn... Monday. Is, I think he has... A I think season. he's... But he deserved to be. I think he's in the hotter seat relative to how he's performed. You know what I mean? Like, Jay Groon's in a hot seat. we do have a talented roster. Like, our, our Where you on the finish, team, motherfucker, team. man? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm, Shut up, dog. I'm but anyway. Yeah, no, because, like, the Redskins, at their best, they won, like, nine games with this nigga Jay Groon. But, like, the he Falcons. He was with Kirk Cousins, though. Yeah, the Falcons at their best, you know, they was in the Super Bowl and shit, you know. Right. Off some bullshit, saying. of course. But still. That was all Kyle And, yeah, y'all have made the playoffs, like, three or four times yeah. with him. With Jay Gruden, like, he's been, like, once. So, y'all being, like, one in three is a lot worse than the Redskins being 0-4. Yeah. We knew they was going to be ass. Plus, fucking most people with sense, they knew that nigga wasn't going to be good anyway. Who? What was the Blackie's name? Bro, shut up. Uh, uh, Dwayne Haskins? Yeah, didn't he throw like three picks in one quarter? Bro, he was... Bro, he was making Daniel that, first Jones of all, look like O.J. Simpson out there, that bro. Might be the, well, that might be the second most untalented team in the league, first of all. Nigga, they're your, better than your, the Giants. Your, quarter, your coach doesn't even like you. Bro, the Giants... Your coach doesn't even like you as a player. And so... For good reason. Put you out there, and then you don't have Trent Williams. You Bro, that shows you... On the field. That shows you how much of a bum Dwayne Haskins is. Because no. Jay Gruden made Kirk Cousins look good, and that nigga's fucking he awful. He didn't make Kirk Cousins look good. <laughs> really Kirk good. Cousins did the same thing he does now. Against good teams, he shows out. Against bad teams, he gets whipped. Damn. And that's... That's what he's Wait, but he, he played bad against you also. Does that mean y'all are a bad team? Uh, he played bad against us, because we're a good team. <laughs> Now, he didn't play bad against us. We got fucking slacked by Dalvin Cook. He, they didn't need us. Or, we didn't need him. They didn't need him. Yeah. I, I, I still think it's Jay Green because he's had, what, six seasons? Yeah. And they haven't done shit. Like, Dan Quinn, I think out of respect that he, they took him to the Super Bowl and shit, they'll give right. him, like, another season. Like, yeah. well, this will be his last season. But, yeah. Jay Gruden, I feel like it's done for him. Yeah. I feel like yeah. next weekend or so, it's wraps. Yeah, speaking of coaches real quick, just wanted to bring this up. So far out of the, uh, I think it's five coaches who have started off this year. Mm-hmm. They're like 2-20, uh, I think. Are you talking about the new coaches? The yeah. New coaches? Oh. So, you think any of these niggas are going to pan out or are they all going to be bums? For example, Vic Fangio. Niggas thought he was going to do better than he has. They're all for right now. I feel like with him, I think yeah. he'll get more time just because that... Yeah, you they have got, a quarterback. And they got yeah. screwed out of that one game. Yeah. Like, your running backs look nice. If you don't trade Emmanuel Sanders, which I was supposed to put that in notes. Hmm. But uh, since we're coming close to the trade deadline. But if you don't trade Emmanuel Sanders, you have a decent offense. Your offense line is all right. You just don't have a quarterback. Should they defense, try to trade Phillip Lindsay? I can't believe Jeff Flacco was a Super Bowl well, winning quarterback. Yeah. This is, I, I mean, at one point in time, he now, was... Like, you're trash. <laughs> that man was kind of nice, but not no yeah, more. No. I mean, he's definitely the best quarterback on a bird team of our era. <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah. It's crazy that in that same draft class, him and Matt Ryan. <laughs> Matt Ryan's played better his whole career, but Joe Flacco, he got the Super Bowl. You disrespected Nick Foles. He said what? <laughs> he said the best quarterback on the Bird team. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was talking. Bro, don't nobody give a fuck about Matt Ryan. <laughs> but yeah, so see, I think Vic Fangio he gets more of a chance for yeah, what you just said. Joe uh, Kiff Kingsbury undeservedly he, getting yeah, uh, probably going to get a chance because yeah. that man got hoed last year. Their uh, older coach, the what was that nigga's name? The, their last coach, who would have the Cardinals? Black yeah, oh, the black no. oh. uh that was a couple years ago. No, it no, was it a was black a, dude. It was, it was no, Bruce's name. No, it was a black dude last year. Because it was Bruce Arians. He retired. Bruce Arian. Arians. Uh-huh. He retired. Well, I think they fired him. And he took yeah. it off. And now he's back with the Bucks. Right. But they had a black uh, coach last year. Oh, yeah. That dude okay. was bad, though. Bro, they was gave he? him one year. No, yeah. That was a horrible O-line. That was fucked up. Right. But, yeah. He, and I don't then they fired him. A badass quarterback. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, they have fucking. I think they fired him because Josh and they Andy paid fucking the Sam Brad for fucking it. twenty million dollars. Yeah, you said who? Remember they gave Sam Brad twenty mil, even though they oh, knew he was yeah. probably gonna play like two games. Yeah, fuck out of here. I really that thought they were gonna be nice for some injury they got central. Sam Bradford. And I like, like Sam Bradford because you a fool. <laughs> no, just because every team he's on, like they low key do kind of nice with him, but then he gets injured and fucks it all up. Bruh. But, but yeah, uh, so those two down, Adam Gase. What's his excuse? Uh, he shouldn't have been hired. Because their schedule hasn't trash. even been that hard. <laughs> Adam Gates shouldn't have been hired. <laughs> Nigga, he, he, trash, but he's right. the Jets coach. Oh, I know. Okay. He shouldn't have been hired. No, I, was, I didn't oh, know okay. if Ivan do. Okay. I'm yeah, so like Brian Flores. I'm thinking Flores. Well, here's the thing. He was hired to lose games, so he he's good. Yeah, he's like coaches, he's like Brett right. Brown. Like We're going to keep him around a couple years, yeah. even though we probably shouldn't. Hold on, wait. Wait, Adam Gates. He's Yeah, yeah he's nah. a coach. coach ain't getting on the... I ain't getting nothing out of Le'Veon. Nigga held out of... Oh, yeah. He's he, he, he been playing all right. He averaged, nigga, he's averaging 2.8 yards a carry. But how many yeah, Jets no. games have you watched? None, thankfully. But I've watched two Jets games, yeah. and both games, he's, like, out there trying to make something happen. Actually, mm-hmm. no, I did watch the Browns right. game, and he was doing his best. Yeah, he didn't get shit that He just ain't had no blocking. My man was playing nice. He, like, hurtling over niggas and shit, but it doesn't matter because their offense isn't going to do anything besides give him Le'Veon the ball. is good for, like, two highlights a game, but, like, he got to break something. I don't know, but I was like, I've watched that game and then I watched their. Especially for talking all that shit. I watched that game and then I watched their first game. <laughs> I'm a Steelers fan. And both so. games, he looked. I don't know. He looked good. It's just they their offense is literally there's nobody. They just stack the box. Yeah, you and think so, if their receivers wasn't hurt? No, I think if Sam Dar- they got Sam Darnold back because Robbie Anderson, bro, he can ball. Wait, is he suspended? Uh, who? Or is he playing Robbie Anderson? I am not sure. I think he's one. playing, but he well, can ball. They still have Sam Darnold. I Which think Adam one, Gase. That was one of their best receivers. Because even with Sam yeah. Darnold, their offense is ass. But with Sam Darnold, it's a little bit better. But yeah, with Adam Gase, I just I don't think that nigga's made to be a quarterback. I mean, a good a coach. coach. Yeah, I don't think he's right. pretty, he's good with quarterbacks though, because he like you know he had the Peyton thing. He had that boy Jay Butler, the goat. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, moving on, the coach of the Bengals, whose name I don't even remember right now. Niggas, he hasn't done that awful, but they did get fucking shellacked by the Steelers, who are yeah, also not yeah. good well, on that's national we had TV. To come back and show There's that their excuse. They need to find something. Hey, no, no offense, bro, but you know, you know what it is. No, it's all good. They need to do something because every year their excuse <laughs> is AJ Green is hurt. Well, he is hurt again. I know. That's what I'm saying. That's their excuse every year. Like, I don't know. you got to have something besides just a re- like a, a receiver shouldn't be the most. Important part of your team, as is saying that as a Falcon. All right, well, I have a question for you then. Just Bengals should be able to. Bengals zero four with, with AJ Green games. out. Falcons one and three with Julio in. Who is more important to their team? Julio or AJ Green? Uh, it's definitely AJ Green, by the way. Yeah, no. Julio's a better player, but yeah, no. I, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I said just because they don't have shit for their offense. Well, they got some Andy nice Dawson's pieces. favorite target. Or... Yeah, but they got some decent pieces. But... Sheesh. Oh, oh and speaking then of, speaking of all this, the two wins are actually from uh, that boy, Brucey Bruce, which they low key should be like three and one actually. Mm. Yeah, because they should have beat the Giants. Nigga saying James is trash, but I, I mean, mean, bro, this is what I was really. scared of because I knew, like, I respect Bruce Arians as a coach, like, right? Yeah, he's Arian after all. No, Ooh. but like, and I was like, damn, with as much talent as Winston has, even though he's been playing ass, I know get that, that man is talented. Out there on the field. If you get Winston straight. That man might become a problem. Yeah, no, nah, real so, talk. I was I mean, scared of that in the NFC South. Like, 
a good uh, fantasy Hopefully pick for me fan. last year. Like when I did pick that name, mm-hmm. it was like he randomly go for like four touchdowns. Yeah. I'm like, Hopefully, <laughs> it's just a fluke. But if not, that shit is scary. Mm. Any more? Nah, some quarterbacks. Yeah. Nah, that's all of them. Quarterbacks can do that. Well, speaking of AJ Green and Emmanuel Sanders, we're getting to week six, the trade deadline. Mm-hmm. Oh, that actually lines up with our next topic about <laughs> Stephon Diggs. Who do y'all think Watch that's a good over. candidate? Who do y'all think is gonna get traded? The Broncos should or the trade. Best matches. The Broncos should trade Emmanuel. Mm-hmm. They also, I heard they they're shopping uh, Chris Harris too at the same time. Yeah, really? I think they are. Just because they're not gonna be good. Because they, like, they kind of know they're not gonna be good. You shop both of them. You can get the only yeah. thing. You can get a wait a second round pick or a third round pick for Emmanuel Sanders. I you hate when get the teams same like dismantle just to get picks because you don't know if the picks are gonna pan out. You already got yeah. Nice. But it's players. like if you don't see yeah. any hope with your like, players the crit. Now, and you know they're getting older. So yeah. it's like you, you can't really – like if you know that you're going to be like a low lottery pick and you're going to be rebuilding. Then also players is not going – they're not going yeah, to perform and sit yeah. there and play for – Yeah, the, the one knowledge, thing – took it too far. Like, the one thing I'll it. say is like with uh, that boy Chris Harris is like cornerbacks who play smart like him aren't really dependent on their athleticism as much. Yeah. Right. They usually can't last a while, so I kind of think they shouldn't trade him because he'll probably still be good for a few more That's years. That's what I was thinking. That's what but Emmanuel like, Sanders, he's like 30 something Sanders. already. Nah, so Emmanuel Sanders is like. Yeah, he needs to be out of there. Yeah. He's and balling he too. Yeah, he be playing nice. He was with us. Um, he be carrying you know I mean? uh, that boy Fluck. That was one of my favorite players, but yeah, Emmanuel Sanders. I feel like nice. yeah, y'all be pumping he them took boys like out. A little like a baby step down, and, you know. What, what, I mean? what do y'all think yeah. would be the best spots for both of them? For him, yeah. the Eagles. Emmanuel Actually, Sanders. for both of them, the Eagles. Chris, Chris nah. Harrison, the Eagles would be kind of nice because they they need that. They have, I'm saying they should get Jalen, but they got like they, can. they got like three active mm. cornerbacks right now. I don't know if they can pay for any of that because both of those dudes. They're, they're gonna need a decent yeah. sized contract. Their cap really space are. is actually pretty pretty good right but now. But if they could make a case, if they could get Jalen Ramsey, they not Chris getting Jalen, bro. He's not getting traded. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's gonna get traded anymore since he hasn't been traded. I don't think you heard about the Jalen uh, thing? Yeah, the yeah. Jags said no to uh, two first round picks for him. They said oh, yeah. no. Two oh, first round picks? Yeah, somebody yeah. offered oh, it's that. Cause of it's because of Minshew. Minshew. Yeah, Minshew. Cool. yeah, no, they yeah. saw Minshew bone and they're like, I'm like, come on, we might be able to contend like this year. Hold on, wait a minute. Yes, that's facts. I feel like if Minshew was like a bum, they shout would out Cam Soda. Hey, shout out Cam. Because they was talking about they was gonna trade him to the uh, to the Chiefs. Who Jalen? Yeah. She. That's a, yeah, that's that's a like, Super Bowl that'd, right that'd there. Be a good, you know what I mean? Like for them and that make them definitely that's Super Bowl That's the fucking 49ers getting Deion, yeah. Deion Sanders. Like see like, him like yeah. just ninja kicking Tom Brady on a play, man. Would be Woo! Amazing. All right, who who else? Uh, also, maybe they share kids. AJ Green, I think he could be traded. He's not getting traded. I don't think he would get much, but I think he's not getting traded, bro. That would be like y'all trading Julio. Like he's like a hometown beloved yeah. hero. They can't. Right. If they do that, and, like nobody be going to. But I mean, he's tra- always he's teams like, trade he's always players, injured. Most Facts. Times. He's always unless injured. they be doing some bullshit. And then the like, C- like a team like the Seahawks who need like, but the Seahawks with AJ Green, that's nice. Where they got DK Metcalf. Okay. He's putting up like 80 yards a game. No, he's mm. not. Yes, he he's is. He's putting up like 80 yards in one game. Nah, he, he's had touchdowns in every game, hey, I think, nah, so far. Talk. His touchdown, no, he had been getting like, touchdowns. Like, no, like he had been getting touchdowns. Right now. But you give them. Like, his straight line speed. Mm-hmm. But what's their, like, weak point on their offense? It's their passing. Because it's literally just Russell Westbrook. I mean, Russell Westbrook. Russell Wilson fucking scrambling and looking for somebody to heave it to. Give them A.J. Green so they, they can actually line. run an offense. <laughs> That's kind of dirty. I don't even think they would mesh well. But I mean, in terms of well, who else would both of them? Uh, mm, nah. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think so either. In was. in terms of who both who, who uh, fit the best, in terms, you know what I'm saying? Like Emmanuel Sanders and uh, Chris Harris. Who you think besides, you know, like the Eagles? Hmm. I'm trying to think of a team that's like contending right now. And it's Emmanuel like, Sanders you know I mean? to Patriots. Um, they don't Chris Harris to the I don't know they, but they I would say Chris Harris all they to have, the They don't have nobody The Broncos probably wouldn't do it But Chris Harris to the What the picture is of Josh Gordon mm. That's all they have Edelman is injured yeah, but He's a bum anyway Okay mm. Chris like Harris him. to the Chiefs I Dorsett think would be not that good Right. Yeah, Dorsett all, he, he has straight line speed That nigga can't I've been watching him since he went to Miami Yeah Man, can't run with us for shit Right hmm. He made Stacey Coley look like Antonio Brown 
Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, Chris Harris, the Chiefs. What other like contending team needs a, a cornerback? I guess the Saints need like a slot corner, but they're not gonna give up nothing. For nah, them. I don't think the Saints. I don't think they're gonna do. Cause they got fucking Eli. I Apple think they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna try to keep what they got. They're gonna try to make Eli Apple. Cause I mean, as good of, as they're doing, they really should they've been trying to force some, some kind of good player. Like, come on. I mean, come on, good, kid. Their, their team has been playing up. nice. I mean, besides so I Eli think, Apple, I don't think they're gonna need to worry about any of that. The Falcons traded for uh, Jonathan Cyprin, the strong safety of the Eagles. Yuck. Hmm. Yeah, he, he's a solid player. He used to play for the Jaguars. No. He's solid, but it's not going to change our team. We did need yeah, a strong no. safety, but I don't think it's going to change our team. But we play such a prevent style defense. I don't think nothing's going to help our defense. Very yeah. sad. True. Um. We've generated the second most passers <coughs> in the league, too. But our dumbass hey, with that prevent boy. defense that we always play. With that boy Vicky Beasley on the defensive <laughs> end, boy. Woo! I think it's really just because of Grady Jarrett and Tack McKinley. Yeah. I think they've been just being some dogs. Even though the stats don't show it, I think they've been. Every game I watch, right. they're the only ones doing Hey, low-key, Emmanuel Sanders to like, the, getting the, like the Saints. Getting the pressure and- because you know they the Saints could use right. They need a number. They need a second wide receiver. But bad. I don't know. But you got you got a top five. Yeah, you got probably hmm. top seven receiver. That's yeah, bro. They need and then you have like a top three running back. I think. They bro, did right. you see how fucking limited their offense was last week? But they're still getting wins. I mean, yeah, but that's not going. Bro, yeah, they're not going. Yeah, the not, offense is limited, but that's just how Sean Payton. That's how you're gonna treat. If you busted that defense twice, you're gonna beat them, nigga. No, that's you, how you're gonna fact. treat Teddy Bridgewater, though. You're not gonna air it out with Teddy Bridgewater. Bro, I don't they don't need. You understandable. They, bro. Yeah, but they need another nigga who can even run routes. Like right. with Drew Brees, you saw like that. Jared that, Cook got targeted like twice because that nigga can't run. Uh, with Drew Brees, routes. you know mm-hmm. that the offense is still gonna be nice. They, they could. I mean, they could use. They don't know if he, if Bre- you think Breeze is gonna come back and be as good as he was before. The Saints are getting no he's, bro, he's forty two. Like he's gonna because come back. They're I think not he's gonna, gonna come back. They're all right. not gonna disrespect Tag in like that. Tag in dropped that nigga. Hey, I hate open. that nigga all the way to Tegan. the back of the bench. Bro, you don't understand my my hatred for Tag in. <laughs> we picked that nigga with the number seven pick in the two thousand six draft, and he was a fucking scrub. <laughs> Why like, Why did we pick a nigga who tore his ACL bro. in the National Championship game? I don't know. What about all the returns? Nah, that nigga. That's he'll get through that. Hey, yeah, no time. Ted Ginn, all-time fastest niggas in the NFL. He's probably like top four or five. Hmm. He's definitely just straight line speed. And that's, mm. I mean, that's going to pay in the league. That's going to pay. He you don't. Know, I don't know. He will give you money yeah. to run. Yeah, no, nah, his hands are still disgusting, though. It's kind of impressive Real that hard. he's been in the league for that long and can't catch. Like, he hasn't even worked on it, nothing. Like, use some stick up, bro. We will, won't get mad at you. I, I promise. What about Stephon Diggs? I don't think he should be traded. I think he should. I think that yeah. offense, literally, the only thing you can do is change the quarterback. Yep. Yeah. Their off- offensive line is all right. Mm-hmm. They have a great running back. Right. Their receiving core, you know, Case Keenum made them look right. like the best receiving core in the league. We'll talk. So all you need is a quarterback, and you're the best team in the league. You know what's that crazy defense though is nice. Is uh, I don't know if y'all heard he skipped practice on Wednesday because like he wanted to get traded. When they asked him if the rumors were true, who Stephon Diggs? Uh huh. And when they asked him, if he was like, "I'm not gonna comment on those rumors, but some of the rumors are true." And they was, oh. they was like, "All right, then." Yeah, he yeah. probably don't want to play. With- uh, Kirk right. no the crazy part about that though is he, he hasn't been getting the ball. Yeah, no, Kurt don't be throwing any good ball for shit. Cool. Like he'll probably try to force it to Adam Thielen before he Real throw it to. They really thought Kirk Cousins was the missing piece. <laughs> That's crazy. You like that? That's crazy. I would have definitely stuck with Case Keenum before I gave Kirk Cousins mm-hmm. something like that. It's hey, like they're bro. the same motherfucker. It's like they're the same quarterback. <laughs> bro, Vikings trade <laughs> Kirk cool. Cousins to the Redskins for Both Case Keenum. Like- and Barely and hold on, Jamison Crowder. Who says no? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, what'd you say, bro? I said Vikings trade uh, Kirk Cousins to the what, Redskins for Case Keenum. Maybe throw Jamison Crowder in to sweeten the mm-hmm. deal, bro. Mm-hmm. I said both of them say no. <laughs> I mean, hey, yeah, the boy Snyder Actually, probably says the yes. Vikings Listen, might though. say yes. They'd be like Vikings be like you another know what? solid receiver and a better quarterback. Bro, even right. Sam Bradford mm-hmm. looked better in that offense than uh, I know. Kirk Cousins, he, like, he knows how to play good. That nigga feel like Against bad hard. teams, he plays nice. Their new offensive coordinator, though, I don't even, John D. Filippo. John D. Filippo. I don't really like him either. I don't yeah. think he's, I think he underutilized the roster, too, but, like, their play calling has not been good, I don't think, but 
you could also lay most of the blame at Kirk Cousins because he's just been ass. I also feel mm, like it's kind of an overreaction though because I think Kirk Cousins is ass, but the week one they didn't need him because Dalvin Cook was running that shit down our throats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then who they played the Packers, which is a good defense. Like right. Carson Wentz still looks super nice against that defense. Well, he's but he's actually still, a stud. That's still a nice defense though, so that's gonna be a tough game. And then the next game, he had a – wait, who did they play after that? They fucking slacked – was it the Redskins? Yeah, but he wasn't – Yeah, uh, they slacked the Redskins. No, wait, they played They played Oakland. They, yeah, they played Oakland. And he had, 100, he had 170 yards yeah, passing. Yeah, they didn't need him, though, because they were fucking – Dalvin Cook has just been a goon. Right. And then then they play the Bears getting and them slacked. So it's like they're getting slacked against, like – Good defenses, bro. He's but had. He, I mean, not guess. Bro, he also just isn't playing. I was gonna say he's had. Bro, this nigga has seven hundred yards passing through four games. Yeah, that's sad. He's like, averaging this thing because two of his dubs are blowouts, and then the other two are <laughs> against like nice defenses. So what you're saying is, if you make it so Kirk Cousins has to throw the ball, the Vikings are gonna lose the game for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's, so not that's not good. That's Especially not good. Especially not for a nigga you gave eighty four ends. You're gonna outperform uh, Danny Dimes this weekend. Wait, they play the Giants this weekend? Yeah. Yo, the Vikings are losing, dog. No, the Vikings are losing. Nah, they're losing. Bro, against they the lose. worst team, they're the losing. Vikings, the Vikings smack worse. They're, they're, lo- they're yeah. losing. The, Vikings, they're, the Giants if this are. Was the Cowboys, the, the, Vikings, the, the Vikings will get smacked. Giants are a great yeah, team, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. No, the, the Vikings are definitely going to. Is This game is going to be like. Well, we'll get to that. Bro, 2 and 0 with like a 14 point differential since Danny took over the offense? Just, you don't think about it, man. Just saying. Uh, Hey, no, dead ass though. The Giants are definitely like the least talented team in that division. They got mm-hmm. Evan. Wait, the niggas was walking a, up and down the, the field though last week. Hey, the Redskins. You can make a case Ron, for the Redskins. They got Ryan Kerrigan. Uh, They've been walking he's up like and a down top the field six with D. Danny Dimes. Okay, they got Giants got Janoris Jenkins. All right, yo, that nigga's fucking awful. They used to bro, Bra- <laughs> even even they fan base fucking bro, hates that, that nigga. That defense was amazing for one year. I mean, he was bad that year too. They were amazing. Are you talking about the Rams? No, no the, you're talking about the, the Giants. Giants in 2016 oh. when the Cowboys right. went 13 and 3. Oh, okay. And the Giants were the only niggas beating them. Yeah. But you can't trust a, a cornerback with dreads. I'm sorry. Don't don't yeah. worry. Uh, niggas with Samuel. Dreads. I once he that cut his shit off, that he became even better. better. <laughs> uh, that's no, he had dreads. After that nigga was hard. That nigga, that no, his hair was braided. Yeah, you can trust niggas with braids. I mean, look at me. You ain't seen <laughs> no quarterback cornerbacks with dreads like that no more. <laughs> But There's if like Stephon God, Diggs, niggas just be out there trying to stunt. If Diggs <laughs> was traded though, who would who you what would they even be able to get back from? Like a third round pick? Probably third, uh, probably third round pick in a desperate team. I don't know any team like that absolutely need a receiver. That would like, nah, like the Seahawks. Like the Seahawks might fuck around and give up a second. I'd be going back and watching that play. That's the only team I can think that of. That playoff play, man. You know what I mean? It's like he's a star. Nah. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> nah, I was just so at least a second rounder. Bro. I mean, hey, would A B like nah. You know, functionally retired. He's not actually retired, but he's probably done. Mm-hmm. Stephon Diggs is definitely like probably the best or the second best yeah. route runner in the league. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know about the who's better than him? Adam Thielen? <laughs> Julio Jones? Uh, no. Best route runner in the league. Wait, get the fuck out of here. No, nah, I just feel like he underrated. And no, he I don't think he's underrated the anymore. Niggas. I feel like I feel like that whole receiving core, like him and Thielen, they get like their oh, that's two like top ten, top twelve receivers right. in the league. I feel like niggas said that. If you, but the third rounder list, is too low for bro, after the king of the best receivers, like best receiving corners in the league, mm, nah. the Vikings are still up there. Bro, after the Keenum year, though, he was definitely higher rated than he is. Because last year, he had like 700 yards because they was never throwing him the ball because Kirk Cousins is a fucking bum. bum. Yeah. Damn. But with Keenum, when they was both getting like equal mm-hmm. share, and they, I think they both had, or like Thielen had like 1,200, he had like 900 people. It was like, all right, those mm-hmm. are two. Right. Two little stud arenas. But you know, team, he was getting Kyle Rudolph in the mix, too. Imagine that team with Dalvin Cook, know? bro. That'd be but, nice. Who was their running back that year? Uh, Latavius Murray. Yeah. And what? McKinnon. Oh, yeah, Jerick McKinnon. <laughs> the nigga who got, like, five M's from Wait, the 49ers was, and Tori. No, actually, I think Latavius Murray was He was. He was with the Raiders, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot who they were. Oh, that's when they were running uh, McKinnon and there was another running back. Uh, oh, I know I Matt Asiata. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. It's them too. But yeah, I I hope that he does get traded because I like Stephon Diggs. I fuck with that nigga, and I feel like Kirk Cousins is hurting his like stock. I don't mm. it. You don't I, think he's hurting his stock? Like no, niggas I said, definitely. I, I oh, I was about to say niggas definitely thought he was nicer before. No, I, I, yeah. but what team, uh, though, what team does he go to? Like, I can't really think. The of only team, contending yeah. team that really. 
<laughs> the Packers would be a nice one. Yeah. They're missing Devontae Adams of uh, turf toe. Yeah, but the right. and he he likes receivers like like Aaron Rodgers. Those are his receivers, like smaller receivers who like can like that's run true. routes and shit. But yeah. the, you think the Vikings are gonna trade him? No, to the Packers? that's the one. Hell no, nah, something not like nah. They might get Emmanuel Sanders. That whole kind of division nice. is like rivals with each Yo, other. Yo, low key that every other team in, in the NFC division. North could utilize that nigga low key. Of course, like yeah. The Bears could definitely use a nigga like the him. team that probably well I don't know Allen Robinson with the Bears. I feel like you don't even trade for him just because it's like. My quarterback's not even gonna use him. Nah, but yeah, the Lions. It's like he gonna be in the same situation. Well, that's and that's what. Saying, what that's why it's hard because it's like some of the teams that's maybe kind of in contention. It's like they might not have that great of a quarterback either. Yeah, the Bears. I I feel like it'd be even a waste the Saints, just because like, you're getting a player that you're not gonna use like that. Hey, a team that could contend that needs a receiver though that we haven't been talking about because mm-hmm. we're not really sure if they contend or not is uh the Jaguars. Hmm. That is facts. Because they yeah. their schedule is low key not that bad, and they definitely be making sh- uh, shark look nice. Yeah, they that yeah. nigga been sharting on these niggas low key, but mm. who do they have? Dd Westbrook. Dd Westbrook. Westbrook. I was about to say, I don't know. Red, yeah, Dd Westbrook just broke down Taylor Gabriel. Oh really? Damn, I ain't even watching niggas like that, but. No, yeah, he, he's one of them like short, fast niggas. With nah, I fucked with Dd. Yeah, he's from Oklahoma, but I thought he was gonna be a little better. He not bad. He just last he, year he was all right. He'd be butterfinger sometimes. Yeah, he be yeah. getting. He'll get open. Like he mm-hmm. will get open. But he's yeah, he's like Jakeem open. Grant, low key. Mm-hmm. Yeah, moving right. on. Oh yeah, so y'all heard about uh, Burfitt getting suspended for the year? Yep. Yeah. The, the NFL yeah. said they found another helmet to helmet hit from that nigga in the same game. Really They're though. using it as part of like his reasoning because he's trying to fight back against it. Of course. Tell the suspicion. And they had fucking uh, Derek Carr on TV the other day saying. This nigga didn't mean to do that. He loves the game of football. We are sad as an organization that he can't be with us. I was uh-huh. like, damn, bro, the Raiders don't give a fuck. Yeah, right. Dude. Jay Gru- John like, Gruden came mm, out. Put your quarterback like, up there and lie like that. He sucks. sucks. We're going to talk to the office about getting our quarterback. Yeah, right. That's, that's facts. Let him in. They just should have said How do y'all feel about the... Because they gave him a 12-game suspension. Or not 12. A full season suspension. Well, I mean, there's 12 games left. Oh, well, I think it was 12 games Right. Left. How what do, if they make the playoffs? Could, would he be able to come back then? It's like the three no, strikes. No, he, he's suspended through playoffs. It's season. like three, three that's strikes. Like, that's why they're so mad. It's like going to jail type Through the shit, season, bro. through the playoffs. Like, niggas do, you know what I mean? Niggas do worse things. You but go I to jail like, once, you go to jail twice. You go to jail three times, nigga, you give him a Yeah, I mean, life. he's been suspended like six times. You get yeah, suspended I feel like with Vontez Burfitt, 18 it's times for like any other player. It's like, all Listen, right, man, you like he made down. a mistake. Like, yeah. You got to sit down he, for a minute. He got too angry or whatever. But Vontaze Burke yeah. is like, and then he he did right. the, he was like waving and blowing kisses to the crowd. Yeah. yeah. They was like, all right, this nigga knows exactly what he's right. doing. Right, he knows. Like, Bro, there was a stat. I think it's the last five seasons. This asshole. nigga's missed four games or more due to getting suspended for like dirty hits and shit. Right. So. And it's like. Yeah, so if, even you, if you, you know your team, first yeah, of all, like that nigga, you just it's just you take he, him too far, like bro. he's good, bro. Like but Marvin Lewis would have had that first playoff <laughs> win if he doesn't oh, yeah, deliver Antonio shit. Brown CT. It was like fourth and thirteen, oh, something like that. Yeah, the creation of Mister Big Chest. Yeah, and then he fucking <laughs> just levels that man out. Fifteen free yards, they lose the game. Niggas. It's serious about pointing back to that. It's like fucking Bro, it's up AB, AB for real. Him and like, Giovanni Bernard that, that was a, fuck that, that. The Bengals, they were nah, looking I'm nice, but they were looking like the third best team in the league. I mean, they fuck also AB got up. fucked that one year, too. Is that the same? Is that the uh, but perfect, Andy Dalton uh, Like when they, when when they, they had... Lost, they were like nice and they lost to Andy Dalton? Yeah, when they had Adrian McCarron, they still like... They barely lost the playoff game? I think that... No. Yeah, mm, yeah I think was that, that was that, the same season. Cause I know the Bengals were about that was to that win wild the game. Card game huh? They were run, they were literally running the clock yeah. out, and Giov- Giovanni Bernard fumbles the ball, and the Steelers get it like as they're just running clock. Mm. And then Ben Roethlisberger's going down the field. It gets like a fourth and thirteen. He throws a slant to Antonio Brown, drops it, and then fucking Vontez fucking sticks him with his helmet. And For no fucking fifteen reason. free yards. But yeah, do y'all think that any team's gonna give him a chance again after this? Or there's man. definitely gonna be a team. He hadn't done mm, anything like outside so. of football, so I feel like there's gonna bro, be a team I don't, that's like I don't think so. And I'm I'm gonna go back to that stat. Yeah, no. Nah. That he's missed like bro, you wanna sign a nigga that you guarantee is gonna not right. be on the field for one fourth but of your game. If Bill Belichick you look at the like list of his fines and his suspensions, you gotta scroll like but if, that shit yeah. is ridiculous. If you think about Bill Belichick and that man's out there and he's like 
Hmm. Nah, he doesn't. I need a he hard hitting. <laughs> right, he doesn't sign niggas who miss games. That's like his one thing. Them niggas will like, sign anybody on a redemption here, story. Like, if you want to be out here on your Aaron Hernandez he signed, shit, but Josh Gordon. Yeah, because they thought they. Could but listen it. though, okay, did y'all hear about rehabilitate Burfick? Yeah, but here's the thing: he I, played I, with Marvin that's Lewis. That's probably another topic. They don't have any control of their locker Bro, room. Here's and the, then did y'all see that John um, Gruden? Nah, here's the thing though. Yeah, I don't think the locker room has anything to do with it. I think hmm. Montez Burfick is incapable of playing at the level he plays at without like doing the shit. Right. He like if he tries to like pull back and like not do this, he's you probably gonna be a fucking. Screw you wonder if that's no, like a product of like who taught him how to play. I don't believe that. The only reason I don't believe that is because yeah, I think his dad is like a lot of his dirty like, hits, <laughs> but a lot of his dirty hits like, don't you know even I mean? matter. Yeah, like that's, they're, they're hits that he didn't have to no, do. No, but it's that's just how, right. shit. but that's how he keeps his killer instinct. Hmm. It's like if I'm a boxer and they ask me like stop fighting and you know like don't poke niggas in the eyes when I fight. Okay, but if you felt like that's the only way you could win, that would make sense. Hmm. If right. you were like, okay, I have to poke his eyes out to win, because so I'm just gonna keep doing. No, it. No, right. it's like a competitive. But it's kind of like him. It's like I gotta poke his eyes out because yeah. I like poking niggas' eyes. Right. Out. Yeah, that's, that's like him. You know it's like, like I don't need to. Like, no, like, it's, it's like cold, a competitive. It's like a competitive spirit thing. Like if you fuck with a niggas. Like preparation and mm-hmm. like how he does stuff at all, it's gonna mess them up. Totally. They like worried about you. Right. I can like get when, it because like it's like last you years. run the slant right. across the middle. It's like ah oh, shit, that nigga perfect is there. That nigga might mm. give me free CTE. But yeah, like Bill, <laughs> uh, Bill Romanowski, he tried to play without like versus. being a filthy nigga for a little bit, and he was fucking ass. And then he went back to like the old him. And he was back to being like nice as hell. Yeah. I guess you got that intimidation factor, but like I think like just, I would take like a, a late hit right there. Like if you just like if he goes down, and then you just fucking stick the shit out of him like wise on the ground, that's better than fucking doing what at least just take a penalty instead of fucking spearing somebody right. knowing they're gonna suspend you for that shit. You know that nigga probably played too much NFL Blitz when he was young. Yeah, it was a good hit nigga too. leveling niggas. <laughs> I believe it was just jumping hit. on top of niggas. What? Are nah, I ground? used to I used to be a big fan of Montez Burfick. I ain't gonna lie, I can't defend it. I am too. I, I'm a because niggas a like savage of football at the end I of the day. Nice like we, I guess I we used to bring... like per se before they yeah. changed all these rules and shit. Like niggas was into that shit, and then we kind of start evolving, I guess, and start finding about out about concussions and CTE and learning more about the shit. Yeah. And niggas is me... like, you don't have to hit niggas that hard now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Me but back in the day, bro, like down. niggas was like, bro, they, did you see that? Like, you know, yeah. did you see that hit? That Fucking brings me to my next topic. Knock his ass like out. Ray Lewis was Jacked a hard hit linebacker back then. Jacked up needs to that shit. Back. Bring Jacked up back, man. Wait, what? Bring Jacked up back. Jacked up who? The segment. That nigga got jacked <laughs> up. Oh, yeah. Bring it back, bro. Uh-huh. Now that we know exactly how much damage it causes, I think we're okay with it. No. Mm-hmm. But Ray Lewis was laying the boom on Will Smith made a whole and wasn't about doing that shit that Burfee did. <laughs> There's hey, ways to do it without right, fucking... Thing, he was also laying the boom on niggas off the feet. Hey, but listen. So, wait, he was wait. an accomplice, Who was this? Ray Lewis. Oh, oh yeah. He was an accomplice, <laughs> he said, Yeah. He didn't he, he's probably, probably right. And that nigga said... All right. Did y'all get to <laughs> watch the... the, uh, the how much of the Thursday night game did y'all get to watch? I pretty much watched it. Uh, yeah, I watched almost all of them. I was on my phone, but... How, how do y'all feel about both games? The Seahawks came out with a little dub. Lil Dubsky. Lil Dubsky. Oh, speaking of the, uh, the head Seahawks, of the NFC, well, this is like probably later on, but like, yeah. we gotta talk about that Percy Harvin shit. Cause y'all said something about Josh Gordon. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Something about that shit. oh, he said he used to, sm- he would be like high in every game and shit. That nigga was high before every game, like, oh, wait, during yeah. every game. Nah, my every single is, game of his career. If that's true, is Percy Harvin the only nigga who smoked weed and got more angry? Because remember when he beat mm. the shit out of Golden Tate? Yeah. <laughs> hey, he, was that, talk, he was talking about that too. Yeah, there. no high nigga on earth is like beating people. Up. I don't we, think that nigga was high. Hey, do we need to get rid of weed? Be, do we need to get rid nah, of weed? Nah, but he said hmm. something about Golden Tate. It was that reefer madness that called them to do it? Nah, no, real talk, bro. Um, yeah, the marijuana. Yeah. What bro, did Golden do? Because he said he talked about it. Why he beat that nigga ass? Um, Golden said. That because uh, Percy Harvin was injured that season, and he was like, they asked him a question, I guess, at media day, and they was like, uh, do y'all think y'all going to be good without, you know, Percy Harvin or whatever, and going into the game, and he was like, well, like, we made it here without him. I don't see why not, basically. So, and so big, he was, big he was like, nigga, you got to see me to the yard after that. 
Yeah. He was I upset. Mean, that's a bad luck. Where they the Golden Tate live? He was like, I mean, no, you didn't lie. Seek this nigga out. Just keep it a buck. Did any know. team ever do anything with Percy Harvin? No. no bro, besides, bro, yeah, besides just, oh, we wish that nigga was playing for us. No, we're talking about Because he was, a, he was a pretty good player. Well, yeah, with Florida. Can't lie. Bro, he was but like in the NFL, it was always like, damn. Bro, he was if pro- only we had Percy Harvin. <laughs> bro, he was a prototype for Tavon Austin. Did he get hurt that season that Brett Favre was with that name? The, with the Vikings, yeah, the, I think he started. That was one of his. Yeah, that was one of his top targets too. That's literally all his shit. Damn. All right, but yeah, on the the, the Thursday night game, the Ram, the oh yeah, yeah. I think the the Vikings, not the Vikings, the Forty ers are still number one in the division right now because they're still undefeated. Woo! Hmm. But who's winning that division? Is it, Jimmy is it G? the Seahawks? The fans are not winning. <laughs> I think the fans. It's a pretty competitive. Teams have always yeah. not looked good besides the Seahawks. The Seahawks have looked nah, good. The, they both look good. Last the Forty Nine ers have also looked pretty good. On the cool. Besides that, the, the Steelers game. Besides the, game besides the Steelers game. Fucking three fumbles in their own red zone. Besides the Steelers game, they have been playing some <laughs> bum teams but after they, that. But nigga, they haven't looked good in any of their games. They just won because what? Be careful. You be careful. I, I think the state. I think the Steelers underrated. All right. So both of them teams that beat the Steelers, the 49ers and Seahawks, bro, I think they're pretty good. <laughs> I think they're going to the Super Bowl. In my opinion, I think it's going to be a double. Both of them Super teams Bowl. are going to the playoffs. You heard it here first. Yeah. Damn, that's not a bad Monday night matchup, actually. But no, nah, I mean, the Cardinals are trash, but Facts. the rest of the division, pretty. The pretty the Rams, good. they're they're not looking amazing, but they could get it going. If they yeah. figure out their offense, no, their defense because they didn't. Their defense them, is trash. They didn't give too many yeah, points. Yeah, no, they really they're like, not they good score. on defense. They're not good on offense. Yeah, it's not they score way. forty points in what twenty nine points? Like that's that's well, okay, they scored forty points, but that's because Tampa Bay was giving them the ball back every thirty seconds because yeah, them niggas was mm, die, they giving up like what they had like, yeah. eighty five points the right. last two weeks. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like. You can't give up and that like, many one points. Is a great offense. If you could score. 70 points in two weeks, then you should be able to win yeah, two games. I mean, at least win one of them. Damn. Exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, no, their defense. Because that's an average of 35 points. Wait for like I said, with that 40, though, <laughs> it was from... – Goff had four turnovers. Wait for it was right. literally just him getting the ball back because – Right. Like, wait for looking to do something about that now. Aaron Donald has not looked like himself so far. No, nah, but Aaron Donald – No, nah, he was looking good last I night, I hate bro. people that say he's this, He's looked bro. good in the last two games. And but he's looked – He the did not look good in the first two. Games. I don't know who was commentating, but they How said something Okay, the first game, they slacked him. I watched the first game. How many two games have you watched? I watched the first game. I watched the first game and the last two. Damn, nope. I said that he nigga looked, gets the pressure. Yeah. Look good the, the last two, but he doesn't look good the first. The two. only ones I didn't watch was the Saints. That's the only game I didn't watch. And their offensive line is not good because they have so many niggas out. And the Saints, he, he mm. Saints is the one he injured Drew Brees, Shit. but he's been playing nice. It's just he's not gonna get like counting stats. I'm not looking at oh. counting stats. No. The, oh the, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. That's I, yeah, like, I'm that nigga's been not, getting pressure. Gonna, he been getting. You're not you know gonna. You're not gonna see a D tackle blown up to play most of the time. Right. Because a lot of times, he's just pushing like the middle of the pocket. A lot of sacks. Like he's pushing the middle of the pocket, yeah, and the quarterback's like, oh, shit, I can't see downfield. How many sacks he had last night? Yeah, like, uh, at least night, one. I think, had, I think he only had like, two. I want to say two. One? If he had one. He had one. I, I, don't, I know Russell Wilson was out there being evasive. On the cool. Evasive. That nigga was not getting tackled. That yeah, no. Nah. I refuse. The nigga's running on speed. That fucking uh, Chris Carson touchdown, that nigga definitely almost – Fucked up the whole game. Bro, that Tyler Lockett touchdown? Oh, that was shit that was clean shit as fuck. That shit was sexy. Hey, shout out to uh, Tyler Lockett because I went to the same middle school as that nigga. What middle school? Shout out to your middle school. Yeah, Shaq Harvard Middle, middle school, school, man. Tulsa, Oklahoma. I was supposed to go to the same high school as all them niggas, but unfortunately, hey, my grades was bad in middle school because, you know, shit happens. Hey, man. Hey, uh, I think Russell Wilson's quarterback rating with throwing to him is like, is he? Yeah, it's a. I think he has a perfect quarterback rating thrown to him this season. And like the last couple of years, the only people who had like a better quarterback rating when one person throws to the other is like Drew Brees and Michael Thomas. Hmm. Like yeah, his shit. And that ain't happening. Anytime he throwing the ball, time. that nigga's pulling it down or something. Yeah, Tyler like is really good. Boy, when he threw that ball, I was like, I just had no receivers. No, I thought he was throwing no, it out of bounds. All they have is Definitely. Tyler Lockett. Huh. All they have is Tyler Lockett. Very Hold on, what you Tyler Lockett is not a receiving. Very board. interesting. That is not a receiving. You talking about? Seahawks receiving yeah. core? 
No, come on. DK Metcalf DK is Metcalf, good, bro. Bro, he's caught balls. He's looking he hasn't good. been making like... Oh. He hasn't been oh. dusting what people. Did, he's been catching passes. He's Chase? scored a touchdown almost every game. Yeah, he's so, catcher. that counts for something, okay. bro. Aaron, Aaron Donald, Donald. fifth in the league you can't go for like defensive three rush, more weeks. pass rush win rates. Can't go three more weeks and be like, like I said, oh, he's, he's been playing receiver. nice. Then Disley, I like him a tight end. Yeah, no, they receiving core is not bad. You, you know what I mean? You just hate. But their receiving core. But after that, but though, if their receiving core was good, after that, it drops. Russell off. Wilson be putting who. up forty five points. Bro, every Russell week. Wilson has wasted that team. That's so All I'm saying is, if you put Andrew Luck on the 2013 to 2015 Seahawks, <laughs> he would have uh, won, won, won three <laughs> Super Bowls, bro. He would have been on the bench, fucking down. Ugh, my lacerated spleen. Nigga, <laughs> be on the bench. Damn savagery. No, that nigga retired. He can't even speak for himself. All right, but will will <laughs> will the Rams pick it up at any point? Do you do you see the Rams? Like, I don't think Bouncing they can back. without Gurley. Because, like, their whole thing was just run Gurley and then run play action off of that. Mm-hmm. I don't think without Gurley getting back to his bum himself, status. I don't think he's abusing. And I think he's averaging, like, four yards a carry. But they only give him the ball, like, well, he has, ten times a game. He's, right. like, 15 for 47. Yes. That nigga's carry's definitely going to drop his shit drop shut all the way off. But and then their backup's not good either. That boy's David Clowney playing. Nice. Oh, yeah. Cool. That was a good trade. They not for the Texans. Not they for the Texans place, at all. They place, it should have been nice for the Texans, but their old line has been getting Deshaun Watson beat up. As always. But they didn't even get an old line person for him. They got tons of No, that was, was the, the Dolphins. Dolphins. The Seahawks uh, trade, remember, they got fucking. I was like, I don't even know what they got. Oh, yeah. That, that, Mingo? Yeah, Barcavius Mingo has facts. <laughs> Who the Seahawks was about to cut. Damn. Anyway, they should ask for fucking, what's his name? The left tackle from Seattle, who used to be a pro bowler for the fucking Texans. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Dwayne oh, Brown? Dwayne Brown? Yeah. They, they just don't ever go back to the same team. I'm cool. They stupid. But yeah. Um, Do you see the Rams getting back? Yeah, no. I think the Rams should be feeling virus remorse about Jared Goff so far. Because that boy has been bad. I mean, like I said, they don't have Todd Gurley. So him and McVay. I mean, they, they were at the mercy of Todd Gurley. Bro, they still got no, like. Talk. If he's as good as he's supposed to be, and Sean McVay's as good as he's supposed to be, no, they should be. Able to should be. I mean, hey, yeah. bro. All I'm saying is when I'm on, they got a know, good receiving core. When I'm on the NFL, uh, probably like a top three or four receiving core, bro. Real when talk. I'm when I'm on the NFL subreddit or I'm, I'm watching NFL live, mm-hmm. all these niggas, all they want to tell me about is running backs. These niggas are super replaceable. Mm-hmm. Tom Thanks. Gurley not looking very replaceable right now. Uh, interesting. Niggas been getting their butts blasted nah, without him. I just nice. feel like they I don't have anybody to replace that Because they right got now. Tr- uh, Troy Brown or whatever. CJ Anderson is. did a good job last year. And then then now trash. that nigga's what? Yes. Yeah, out of there. But that small sample so, size. Had boy, that, he up. barely played. He played but nice, I'm but saying, the team barely played I nice. I feel like if they get a they good running back. They almost lost to the Saints. And they got They might be able to replace that nigga. That nigga might be replaceable. I don't I definitely don't think Todd Gurley replaced him. Yeah, no. I think niggas finding out now. Running backs have definitely proven what they're. Well, then Saquon. They lose their games. Saquon leaves. I'm not going to act like don't Daniel Jones is in came in, but all of a sudden man. they start winning games. Listen. Suspicious. Wayne Gallman. Hmm. But look at They went from playing Wayne Gallman balling on the niggas. Fucking Bucks. Scoring two touchdowns. And Redskins. Hey, bro. Listen. Yeah, you're right. Cowboys are just the Redskins 2.0. All right. I'm definitely kidding. <laughs> are you? Yeah, no, I'm the four I mean, Dwayne right. Haskins is just like we said, 100% last. black Dak Prescott. Uh, <laughs> think about 100% that. Hundred black, but Damn. you know I think nah. the Rams they got to figure yeah. something out because Jared Goff that niggas look yeah like, if Dak didn't have that good offensive line I don't think he'd be but that since great. the K- Kansas City game he's had more picks than touchdowns his completion percentage is like in the fifties I think yeah and yeah he's been turning over the ball like it's a fucking salad or, or apple turnover they he, they can't just like sit back and pass. Oh, yeah, he had 70 dropbacks yeah. last week. Yeah, still. they can't just sit back yeah. and pass. Like, he has to be coming off a of play action. Like, has to have some, like, motion or, like, delusion on the foot. He can't just, like, oh, third and ten, you know we're not going to run the ball. Let me just sit back and pass the ball. Right. Like, he's not going to dot nobody up like that. You're right yeah, about nah. that, but why would you find pay? his check down. No, yeah, they shouldn't have paid him. Like, I, yeah, I got him. a question, Ivan, bro. Why, why would you pay $110 million guaranteed to a nigga that – 
can't really do nothing for you without a top three or four running back on the field. You know that is what I mean? fact. I'm, That's uh, the same Dak Prescott ex- uh, or question. Kirk Cousins question because he's getting eighty four. But at least with Kirk Cousins, he ain't had a running back. At least when they were when they did he did have his games, it did kind of look like it was. But they had Alfred Morris, bro. What you mean? Right. Uh, <laughs> they had now <laughs> fucking two years where he was nice, and after that. Mm. Yeah. Right. So through four Adrian or in some, in some teams' cases five or three, what team has surprised you the most and what teams have disappointed you the most? In terms of surprise, for me, I know it's been a fluke, but I'm going to say the Bills. Three and I don't one. think that's a fluke, bro. They, I mean, yeah, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying too. now that it's less of a fluke, but right. I thought they was going to be like in the same tier as the Jets this season, but... Now nah, uh-huh. they took our places like second best in the AFC East, and they yep. were way better than we have the last few years. Nah. Because they barely lost to the Patriots, you know? Even with Josh Allen trash or something. Yeah, even with facts. Like, yeah. But his his quarterback rating when he's in the pocket is like in the 50s, and they still 3-1 right. and one even without Still rolling. That. Ridiculous. Things. So, yeah, that's the team that surprised me the most with how they're playing and the most disappointing. Ooh, bro, most of, I'm probably say the Vikings. Cause they should, they niggas, they just annoying with how fucking ass they be sometimes. Right. That you think that should be four and all right now? Shack snack. Mmm. Money, we just woke up. Diesel. What's up, bro? All right. Ivan, give your most surprise or most uh, surprising and most disappointing. Most surprising. I'm kind of surprised that the, that the 49ers are undefeated right now. Yeah, like, that was that my choice. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit is shocking. But you know they run the ball like but they run the ball the most. They, like them niggas be grounded. They're just looking good. Ups. Like you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I felt like Jimmy Dream was gonna be good, but like not like you know what I mean? I mean not they amazing. only three and zero, but not like, not like, like the looking this good. Yeah. Like okay, like all right. But of course, most disappointing my squad, the Steelers, but. They lost them two games by what a total of like six points. Yeah. So, I well, mean, <laughs> nah, the game y'all lost against the Patriots was not no six. Points. Oh no, I said two. I said five. two games, bro. Oh. We're not thinking about the first the game because oh. we don't want to ever think about that game again. But now, um, yeah, I just we just been disappointed so far. We should have won both of them games. We should be three and one now, but. Just, I don't know, the quarterback situation. Yeah, I feel we can't blame y'all. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, you know, y'all, did, y'all did lose big rate pretty early. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. disappointing as a fan. I'm not but, disappointed because hey. I hate that nigga. But yeah. it, it's not you know, It's not really like, oh, uh, we should be so much more. I've always been on the about that nigga, bro. Like, it's just, it's weird. I got weird. Hey, bro, you don't like, like him. You know, him, when that's your team. He'll like, force you to like him, bro. Huh? Ben Roethlisberger like, like when Ben Roethlisberger hit you up, he like, I don't want you to be a fan. He not taking no for an answer. <laughs> that's, like, that's just how that, that man lives force. his life. He, he like chasing that way. I feel like he kind of tore apart that little squad that was, you know, that, that we did have. Like, but at I the mean, same now time, we're kind of seeing. I don't feel like it was going to be a better quarterback to come in yeah. and throw the ball. At now AB we're kind of seeing that that was really handed off to. Like, that yeah. was a lot of AB. I feel like. Yeah, they. Were I feel like that's that coming out nine. That yeah, they were just kind of like they were like. Pampering that nigga, if anything, the fact mm-hmm. that he wasn't like doing what he was doing now, yeah. I feel like they were like milking that shit. Yeah, but the still, we always yeah, find good him. receivers though. So I'm, yeah, y'all I feel like we'll receivers. bounce back. I mean, even right. what's his name? He looked all right. Uh, uh, Deontay James Johnson? Washington, I think, or Deontay oh. Washington? James. Deontay Washington. Johnson. No, James Washington. James Washington, yeah, he's James Washington look on. Right. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. He just ain't been stepping up. So I, and I, I got like, another because uh, I was watching. I went to Oklahoma State for a little while, so. I was just watching him while he was there and shit. Like, Y'all got was, another little uh, Shazier back there, too. Uh, oh, Devin yeah. Bush. Devin Bush. I mean, bro. looking nice. I'm cool. Our defense, like bro. Shazier? That's something like our defense underrated. I mean, yeah, y'all got and so, pro bowler Mika Fitzpatrick, up. man, in the back. Uh, All right, for me, Joe Hayden. my most surprising team, this TJ is kind of weird to say. There's two teams. I'll say one just because I feel Maybe like it's. You pick one. Okay, fine. I'll pick one. Huh. This is weird to say. The Kansas City Chiefs are surprised. The fact that they're still rolling and like yeah. even after like you got a whole season of like watching them and shit, mm-hmm. and like the whole league had a whole year to like, all right, this is what we do to stop them. 
and they don't have Tyreek Hill right now, right. and they lost Kareem Hunt, mm-hmm. and they're still just like back in motion. Mm-hmm. That's surprising. Like, Understandable. I was not thinking Andy Reid had I, I Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes had that much. No, I got him. I got a lot of faith in Andy Reid. Yeah. Like growing up watching this nigga go to so many NFC championships. Yeah, I, I like Andy Reid for sure. It's like yo. I was like, just saying, I was like, all right. I don't know he, why this nigga can't get over the hump, but yeah. he is a good coach. Yeah, I was like. Because he got his team in the position. Yeah, I was like, year. every offense that does this, like, you have, like, the the early 2000 Rams. Like, they did it to where, like, they came back. They came one year, were on fire. They came back the next year and kept it going. Mm. But most offenses, you Turn know, that Lawrence. shit happens. They, they're they on fire one season. The next season, the niggas get locked up. Mm-hmm. They fall towards, like, back towards the middle of the pack. Maybe still top 10 close. Right. But they're not, like, what they were last year. I mean, but Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, nah, they still in stride. Bro, you That's because Mahomes is really against, the truth. Ag- I think against I think really the truth. Every team well, they've played has been a good defense, hmm. too. Like, what you were saying about Reid, too? Like, bro, think of all them great offenses he had right. in Philadelphia when their best fucking receiver was, like, Jeremy Pinkston. I'm shit. saying, bro. Like, yeah, and they were still nice and shit. Nigga had Brent Seller to throw to. And yeah. Was, was, and so, yeah, they, it was surprising to me. That I should have expected it, but the fact that they can just come back and like not miss a step, even without two of their best players that they had last year playing on the team. And uh, Watkins has missed like a game too. Yeah, well, they missed like, him all last year. If anything, yeah, right. it was boy, amazing that they got production out of him for the first time in forever. But them, yeah, bro, uh, that boy, the hard receivers man. stepping up. Yeah, yeah. Nicole, yeah, every week you got Robinson step Robinson. up and then Hardman step up right. and then. Fucking Kelsey got going. And I don't that know, I don't know not, which one of them niggas are picking defense, fantasy. Because, the defense is not surprising, though. <laughs> but like, the fact nigga, that the offense been able to one keep of going against. Go off, but I don't know which they've one. only played good defenses, too. Nigga, they only. Like, they haven't played a bad defense yet. Yeah. Like, bro, and they, they still put they in a 30 game. They got fucking Bashar yeah. Breeland. The Lions game. almost clipped them. Yeah, the Lions almost got them, but not enough. Right. And then the most disappointing think, team. Was Darius Slay playing in that game? No, nah, he's I don't injured. Think so. That's all he's right. injured. I think yeah. if Slay was playing on the cool, they, they, they might have won hey, the game. Hey, Slay was getting cooked against Keenum. Mm. I mean, uh, yeah, Ke- Keenan. But how Keenan they, Allen but had just that how they came out. They was at home. But Keenan and Allen so, could get everybody, though. I mean, that is fact. That's how the why Lions came out. No, nah, that, that was in the Lions, though. No, the Lions, nah, it was I don't know what, how to feel about them niggas. They 2-1-1, one, and one, so it's like they look like a good team. They've only had one bad game. <laughs> they've, tied, had, they've had one bad game. <laughs> but they game. also they're fucking also tied. tied with, like, the four, one of the worst teams. The yeah, I feel like they've had bro. one bad quarter. But that was because Kyler, it was like, what, against the, that was against before the anybody had like any. that fourth quarter against the Cardinals. And the overtime. Tape on this nigga. Well, yeah, and the overtime. And the game they lost? They lost that to the Chiefs. And the Chiefs, they had it close. They almost, they were like a fourth and eight from beating the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that's the most surprising and then most of the, most disappointing. This I mean, y'all probably expect what I'm finna say. You know it. The bummy ass fuckboy Falcon. <sighs> Boy, one in three, bro. Like pathetic. Haven't we looked decent against the Eagles? We looked good the second half versus the uh, Colts. Besides that, we've been fucking ass, bro. Our team. Dan Quinn does not have any control. Wait, of my why are you anymore. surprised? I d- okay. Man, I don't know if bad. everybody else I was going to be surprised. <laughs> I thought we were going to be nice. I thought bad. last year, no, bro. How much bro, last year we team? went seven and nine, and our all of our defensive starters were injured. We didn't even have a defense Big last Beasley year. Wasn't injured. I could see how you thought that I was going to be hard. Yeah, I was like, oh, we went to the Super Bowl. Like we the were next saying, year, we had a su- like, y'all's the next year. Offense we, is good. Yeah, we went to the Super Bowl. The next year, we go to the playoffs. And we beat the Rams. The next year, we go 7-9 because our whole defense is decimated. I was like, all right, we get a healthy defense back. Our offense maybe, started uh, to pick up at the end of last maybe year. Maybe start we get picking back it rolling. up, bro. I don't know. Because Austin Hooper went for like yeah, 100, no, he was, 150 yeah, my man was yards last nice. week. They didn't get the ball to Julio. So, if niggas, that's what I'm saying. If niggas start paying attention to Hooper a little bit more, maybe know. Julio gets a little, you know what I mean? We need a gets run open game sometimes. and a defense. I'll say that. And really, Dan know. Quinn's supposed to be a defensive guru. Can't do shit for us. It's like that nigga. Like a Jew rule out there. Uh, that's out of line, brother. Yeah, bro. You kicked out the podcast. Uh, <laughs> the library pie I is podcast. That nigga is, though. <laughs> Podcast. Keep it keep, keep it live. All right, back to the Redskins. Controversy sales. Back to the Redskins. Hey, that boy Cole Come McKizzy here, back Cole in the Cole McCoy, the <laughs> motherfucking Cole goat. Cole McKizzy back in the hey, building. He's back under the helm. I thought he got knocked out Against the by, Patriots. Um, <laughs> Do they hand the Patriots their Who hit that nigga that one year and knocked that nigga out? 
I used oh, to knock the shit out that nigga. Wasn't that the like, Redskins? I, I mean, I thought it was over for his wasn't career. Wasn't that the Redskins? It was the Priest. Nah, nah, I think it was Bud Priest. Yeah. Like the, the, it was the Steelers, I'm pretty sure. I want to I say it was the Steelers. I'm cool. Someone like fucking speared that man. Speared that nigga. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But hey, no. I, I do want to remind y'all, though. The only that was when that nigga was with the Browns, right? Is Colt McCoy? Like, no, nah, that's Redskins. Like Colt McCoy, bro? The yeah. Patriots Slayer, 1-0 and against them. The only time he ever played them, the Browns won by 20. Mm. I remember that game. That game Dude. was nasty. <laughs> I remember that game. Didn't you? That's that, wild. Yeah, nah. That nigga, hold on, wait. Cole McCoy beat the Patriots? By yeah, but with the Browns, he fucking what? slapped. It was hey, like a week three game. Smacked them, huh? It was like a, but it was the same year the Cowboys went like, I think it was the first year they lost Romo. Mm. I might be tripping. When they went 4-12? and 12? I think so. Yeah. It, it might have. Nah, I think I'm wrong about that. I, I feel like it was that season, but I might Man, be wrong. Was trash out there. But I think I was definitely wrong because he was the Redskins that year. Yeah, no, Cole McCoy. Yeah, so I was he definitely wrong about that. Went into Dallas and beat them niggas on Monday Night Football. That was amazing. That was yeah, a, no. one of the greatest games. That was a Thursday. Game, that was Thanksgiving, wasn't it? No, no, it, that was it, Monday night. It, it was, was a Thursday night. night game, though. I think oh. maybe because I was. I remember I was. I was watching, watching that. Who, yeah, I was, was working my cleaning job and they had it on. That shit was elite. But yeah, Cole, so Cole McCoy comes in this week, uh, gives Bill Belichick and Tom Brady their first fat ass L, Ooh. and the Redskins get rolling, goes to the playoffs, and win the Super Bowl. So you think you just think just Cole McCoy no. just been sitting? I think back, that's very like, probable. Twiddling, his, I think you the know Redskins, what I mean? Yeah, like, no, that's in there. His hands, like, clicking nigga. his fingernails and shit, just like, flying. Yeah, motherfucker. I'm next. I'm, just wait. Get bro, back I in that bitch. still use his hands because he be getting the shit smacked out of him every time he plays. Yeah, that O line is so like, bad. Bro, bro. They need yeah. Trent Williams back. Like Cole McCoy, definitely like he's one of them NFL players that when he's out the league, his life gonna be ass because he gonna wake up every day, arms and legs all sore. He gonna be like Ryan Shazier. Out there. Nah, bro, he's just gonna smoke some weed. The greatest quarterback in Texas history. And that's what's healing all the players. That's man. true because Vince Young's get a that, <laughs> Get that good old CB. I like Vince Young, but he hey, disappointed that, me. That old CB not going to help him with his I mean, fucking, he got his fucking <laughs> arm is sticking out through his skin and shit. <laughs> Damn. Shut up, Kane. Oh. So, uh, are the Redskins doing anything? I wonder who been sacked Probably the most in not, that career. But at least they have the goaded quarterback. So. Yeah, that game. I mean, yeah. I like watching At least play. they'll give the Patriots their first L. Yeah, you know he's bad. That's good. I kind of hope the nah, Patriots bro, go 16 I doubt it. All right. Next topic <laughs> I saw on Reddit. And Terry Reddit. Not gonna it, be it, was Reddit. it was on proof, so well, don't, I don't say know. What? Oh, it's, it's, it's not true. Yeah, let's let's move on. Oh, never mind. Hold on. What don't believe what say? you read on the internet. What was you about to it say? It was about Gardner Minshew's completion percentage. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, a yeah. 69.422 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I nigga rounded it down so he could him with that 420. Ah. That's close, though. That's close. 69.422. But yeah, anyway, Gardner oh. Minshew is still the, the motherfucking dick slayer. The slayer of all me. Excuse you? Right. I mean, the slayer of all. Never mind. Uh, hmm. We'll things. be right back after this you commercial. You boys break. is different. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Nah, but, uh, uh, let's get to our predictions. The predictions. Minshew, man. Okay, I'll write these down and we can put my boy Ivan in these hoes. Yeah, bro. Mm. Mm, bro. All right. But yeah, let's uh, starting it off. We didn't do the Rams and Seahawks. Wait, no, oh, never mind. But uh, we're not gonna count that one. Wait, do you want to go over like the last week's predictions? Oh yeah, we can. You got them written down, buddy. Uh, I should. All right. Well, we'll go on. wait. No, aren't these the ones you put in your uh, tab? Yeah, uh, they like should still be in the notes though. Oh. Oh. So okay, last week. <coughs> oh, you got the numbers good. Wait, is that the numbers? That's no. definitely not the numbers. That's the time. All right, so last week, Titans, Falcons. We both picked Falcons. Ooh. Tragic. Ooh. We both picked King. Patriots versus the Bills. Both got that right, so a win-win. Ooh, we we both said the Chiefs versus the Lions. That was, that was a risk. Mm-hmm. Both said Colts. They got slacked by the Raiders. Yeah, so I, don't, what, I don't understand that. That game. was surprising. What, are we both 2-2 two and two right now? You're I was surprised the niggas uh, like that. I said the Chargers, okay, you said the Dolphins. Before I know it. I don't know why you would say that stupid shit. Hey, shut up, nigga. But the Dolphins got their ass team, white. Bro. We ain't get a white. We Let that nigga have faith team. in his team. Giants and Redskins. I said the Giants. He said the, he said the Dick Dime. Dick Dime. Josh Rosen. No, I said the Redskins. Spit. I said the Redskins and was sadly wrong. Three and three both. Okay. Uh, you said Browns. I said Ravens. Browns put that dick on four them, bro. Four and three for Damn. the goat. Put that dick on them. Three and four mm-hmm. for Chase. For Kane. 
Texans okay. and Panthers. We both said Texans, and them niggas lost. Y'all both. Uh, Why they lost? <laughs> who knows? Because Kyle Allen was letting that dick spit, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, Same. Yeah. No homo. Uh, Rams and Bucks. Uh, we both said Rams. Yep. And we were both niggas did not Absolutely fucking wrong as shit wrong. about that. <laughs> right. Didn't see that coming. Wrong. Yeah, not at all. Cardinal Seahawks, you said the Cardinals like a dumbass. <laughs> I said Seahawks like the smart NFL fan that I right. am. That nigga don't care about the record. He just That's right. want to say some controversy. Vikings and Bears, we both said that the Bears would smack the Vikings. And yeah, that's what happened. Good. Very predictable. Uh, what was the game? The Broncos versus the... Who the Broncos just played? Jags. The Jags. We both said this was going to be like a Jags should win, but the Broncos low-key win. Mm-hmm. Gardner Minshew. I don't know why we doubted Gardner Minshew. I, I definitely mm-hmm. picked him for the Jaguars. Uh, on here it says both Broncos. I don't think so. I don't, I don't believe that. Down we down we both said Broncos on here. Buddy. So we're both five and seven right now. Okay. Saints and Cowboys. We both said Cowboys. We said we both said it was going to be a low scoring game. I believe. I feel like I said that. I might be lying about that. Hmm. I don't know. We both said Cowboys. Uh, Bengals and Steelers. We both doubted y'all. Damn. We we doubted the Steelers. We didn't think Mason Rudolph could get it done. Smack that ass. So let's go. He came and got that <laughs> shit done. I thought y'all might win, but I just didn't want to pick y'all because I don't like the Steelers. Uh, we should have known Andy Dalton. Is. How they did Matt Moore, man. We should have right. known Andy Dalton. <laughs> like, like, they they take. really made that nigga develop spots in his brain because of that hit. All right. So, yeah. damn, bro, where were we? Five and nine so far. Both five and nine? Wait, hold on. There's some wrong shit in there. Uh, nah. I don't think so. I'm sitting here looking at it. Um, I think Kane changed yeah. some of these. The only one, the only one you dis- <laughs> disputed was the Broncos one, but I'm pretty sure we both said that the Broncos, because it was in Mile High. Because I was like, I thought Jack should win, but Mile High, the stadium, mm-hmm. like the Broncos probably get their first win. <sighs> yeah, bro, I feel bad to say it. <clears throat> we you did bad this week. I there was got, a lot of upsets mm-hmm. this week. I'll say that though. Do you remember which bo- I got five on it? We you picked and I picked. Uh okay, so the I got five on it. I actually <coughs> picked. This one today is or last week. Last week. Last week. I believe I picked Lamar Jackson as more passing yards than Baker. Or wait, no, that's one I gave you. No, that's mine. I believe I took that. I think that's what I would have taken. I definitely didn't say the Cardinals were gonna win, and then Monday Night Football less than twenty. I took that. I think. Wasn't that the Bears and... Oh, yeah, so you lost. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that is the last thing. No, that was the Bengals and Steelers. Yeah, and, there was yeah. like 40 points in yeah. there, so that's a win for Daddy. <laughs> so, yeah, that's $5 mm. for you. And then you said... Uh, Shit, I don't remember which Red, one. You definitely didn't say Redskins get their first win. Over, under for Bears. I think I, I think you took the under for 38.5. Oh, and what? how much? How many points were scored in that game? Uh, I 22. think. In the. Bears with Vikings? Yeah. 16 to 6. 16 to 6. Ah, shit. <laughs> the Jorge God. gets a, a smooth dollars. $10. Oh, boy. How, oh, I don't know how nice. my man wants it. Oh, you know how I want it, bro. He can so get in I 10. I want to pay down them locker room dollars. Uh. <laughs> I can. <laughs> 10 Trident Lairs. Hey. On the way. Him, hey, I wish I could get paid in trying layers. Uh, bro, imagine you getting paid at your job and nigga give you a pack of gum. I'll kill yeah, you. Fuck I, I would choke nobody fucking Joe out with a pack of bubble gum. All right with like, that. Like, nigga, nobody ever. Nigga, I'll be alt right after that. Fuck uh, out of here. What? <laughs> oh. But all right, man, let's get to me. these uh, predictions. Since we, we, this was the first week we actually cataloged our uh, shit. So, so far, me okay. and Kane are both. Five and nine. <laughs> <laughs> looking kind of rough. Looking kind of rough. Not right. looking very good out here. Looking kind of rough. Right. If I don't make it to the party, y'all just text me. I'll text y'all my prediction. Just say, she say yeah, keep yeah. going with y'all niggas. Oh, Since y'all just okay, started cool. at this oh, now. Of course. Right here. Right here. Of course. Like, but yeah, it. getting to the predictions this week, I believe Kane's going to be writing them down, so I have looked up the schedule. Okay. okay. Yeah, so yeah. starting off, we got Jets Eagles, who y'all got. I'm going to say Eagles, probably 30 to, like, 14. Because the Jets, I mean, they still got fucking, who's their quarterback, Luke Falk? Yep. No, wait, didn't he get injured? No, yeah, he is. And, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Are, so, we, are we all in right. I think we Jets? all got Eagles. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. The Eagles are definitely Carson West looking really good. Shell shack mm-hmm. them. 
They about to smack the niggas. Yeah. But then again, we do know the Eagles like to play down to shitty teams. So they do, though. This game I don't like close? Jets fucking around and smack these I don't teams. think this game is close. I think the Eagles, after no. that right, win last think- week, after the win last week, I think they're feeling themselves a little bit. Right. I think they get Deshaun J- Jackson back. I might be wrong about that, but I think they get him back. Huh. I think there's no way the Jets can yeah, do Yeah, if they do, then there's yeah, no way the Jets not. do anything. But even with the receivers, they do have Ertz and Jeffrey. Yeah, and I don't think that. Aguilar, like, they. You come off beating the Packers and you got to play, play the Jets. Jets, and you're not going to win that. Nah, fuck out of here, Jets. We're about, yeah. about, about to go on a win streak. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Next. Damn, this was a little interesting because these are both streaky teams. So you, you never know how they is. Uh, two cat teams. Mm. Jaguars, Panthers. With these young Carolina. ass quarterbacks. Yeah. So. So, I really don't know because the yeah. Panthers be winning games I think they should win since Cam is out. Mm-hmm. And then the Jaguars have like won some games that I also didn't think they would win. So, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm buying into – I feel like we're going to disagree on this because I'm going Panthers. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought you was going to say buying into Minshew Mania because nah, I'm going with Jags. I, I feel now. like that's smart money at this moment, but I don't I know. Kyle you. Allen, he showed me something. He has been. Not something, something good, but he showed me something. something. Yeah. And that boy, Christian McCaffrey, still out here just letting this spit. Nigga, don't right. fucking look at me Can't like disagree. that. The fuck? But all right, so what y'all thinking, boys? I'm going to say Panthers, 20 Damn. to like 14. Because their defense has also been showing good. up lately. Who you got, Ivan? I said the Jaguars, man. Jaguars. I, I think I'm gonna stick with it just because Mitchu. He's just been, oh, yeah, no, he's been he controlling the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man. Oh, and but fucking you had a good week. point. Uh, I mean, Leonard CMC is CMC is running his ass off, and yeah, if you get Greg Greg Olson back involved this weekend, then the Panthers can win. But if I don't know, they really. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the receiving core is not great. Yeah, mm-hmm. I DJ I Moore, also he all right. Yeah, I also got the Jags. These are two teams that I like. I doubted both these teams last week. I said that both of them were gonna lose. DJ Shark two touchdowns. I'm not gonna disrespect Gardner Minshew anymore. That man got that that meat on him. So right. I've been print watching a little. Been print watching a little bit. <laughs> is he fucking so I got with you full, lengthwise? He is fucking with me lengthwise, and I I hate to say it, but he is fucking with me. Lengthwise. Hold on, wait. Yeah. Y'all seen something I didn't see. Um, <laughs> you just weren't, you just weren't looking hard enough, bro. <laughs> 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 no, listen. That's no, I didn't see picture? the picture. I didn't He's see like, the, hey, uh, I saw something. I just didn't see the video or whatever it was. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't see the video. Yeah, there definitely wasn't Kane a video. Said it to, nah, you I was on it. that cam soda, but you know, oh, I got that boy. account now. So. drinking that cam soda? <laughs> oh, most definitely. That nigga username. That nigga username is Uncle Rico? Yes, sir. Hey. But, Uncle uh, Rico 69420. Moving on. This might be another <laughs> game that we might disagree on, actually. Vikings Giants in New York. Mm. I'm going to say. No, nah, I can't. I can't do it. I, I, you can't I can't bring yourself I, to that. I think, I think what, uh, Daniel Jones is probably going to play well again because, yeah. you know, the Vikings defense is still solid, but right. their defensive backs are not their strength mm-hmm. either. So I'm going to say Vikings. I think. Daniel Jones is going to definitely outplay Kirk Cousins, though. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know, man. You think it depends on if Stephon Dix plays or not? Uh, I don't know, but he missed practice again today, I think. So, I don't know. Who's his next play. best wide receiver, anyways? Thielen. Thielen's their best receiver. No, I'm saying, like, after Oh, Thielen. after him? After Thielen. They still got Laquan Trader. Right, yeah, I was about to <laughs> say, I don't know. Kyle know, Rudolph? Yeah, Kyle Rudolph off. is... He's straight. Of course, he's a good tight end. Yeah, yeah he's good. I'm saying like the other receiver. Like, mm. Mm, if sure. if Stephon Diggs don't play, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I see got, it for him. Got to choose one right now. Especially in New York, like the way they've been playing. He like the way Daniel Jones has been playing has been energizing their whole team. So that's I feel facts. like that's been giving that's them facts. like superhuman fucking like you know what I mean. You know when you're in the zone. Oh yeah, no, it's he, like your talent really don't matter. Right, he, he seems <laughs> like just in the zone. not in an insult or even compliment way. He like another right. Eli. Like his emotions no, real talk. carry that team. Yeah, like when Eli was feeling himself as rare as it was, real talk. The whole team was like, all right, man, we, <laughs> all right, we, right. we right. in this <laughs> We got it for us. Like, yeah, nah, that nigga felt himself to two. Right, so before he got Vikings, yeah, it's like when the when the weakest nigga. <laughs> got, huh? You got the Giants. You gonna make uh, the bold pick? Nah, I was just saying. Yeah, like I the think Giants, it'll be close. They've been looking good. Yeah, no matter what happened. I just, I can't, 
I can't see their defense stopping Dalvin Cook like that. Like, Not you know no. what I mean? Hey, that's very it's fair. Like so, they their defense. So, like, 24-17 Vikings. Vikings? Okay. Yeah. And I also have the Vikings because, like I said, oh, uh, if the if the Vikings on. are playing a team that they should beat, mm-hmm. they're going to smack them. And if they're just playing a team that <laughs> could beat them, they're going to get smacked. Hey, I got uh, this question for y'all, listen. though. Does Saquon maybe you play in factor into your decision at all? Oh, that's you that's saw, interesting too. You like, saw he was he supposed, wasn't to supposed to be out, but this nigga was doing Euro steps and practice. That nigga was <laughs> doing. They said he had a, a, a high ankle sprain. That nigga looked. Fine. That nigga looked just. That nigga fine. looked okay. <laughs> what does his attractiveness have to do with him playing, bro? Uh, thighs. Oh, my nigga was. Yo, hey, no. dicky. Pause, 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 <laughs> bro. I saw that nigga <laughs> practice with like the rest of them. His legs dead as wide as like Please. twice as wide as the rest of these niggas. Yeah, bro, nigga got the. Nigga got them fucking thick. He got the quads of a god. Hey, and I'm, I need to go to <laughs> church, bro. You know what I mean? Look at uh, that. I say God. You know what I mean? Uh, All right. Next week. <laughs> Moving on. All right. Y'all niggas wild. Hey, man. It is what it is. All right. Next. Ooh. Falcons, Texans. Ooh. In Houston. So I'm going. I don't know, bro. The Texans are like super inconsistent. Like y'all right. have been bad in a few games, but they've just been straight up losing games they shouldn't lose. They really, they've lost really. yeah two games now that they shouldn't have lost. Yeah, they shouldn't have lost last week. But uh, uh, it's like Deshaun. He should life be better than line. and he had Will Fuller too. Man, life on the line. These niggas both gonna let me down. <laughs> no, they, these are the worst two teams I'd want to bet on. I'm gonna say no, real talk, I'm gonna real say cool. Texans, but it's gonna be like close. Okay. And it's probably gonna be like they gonna pull some shit out at the end. And the only way they win is if Deshaun Watson scores like the last touchdown and he waits till it's like two seconds left. Watch yeah. this game and, be and like he, a fucking anomaly, bro. Like this game is gonna be crazy. I think it's gonna be high scoring as fuck. I, I, I oh think yeah, no, both I, of these I, 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 I think agree, both yeah. of these offenses like like I don't know. They just see each other and like fucking point each other like Spider Man, I mean, yeah, like yeah. fucking like you like. You're supposed to be productive. We, we supposed, supposed to be productive. like yeah, let's both be productive fucking, today. Like you got fucking Hopkins Julio Jones Julio. three touchdowns or some shit. Anytime Hopkins is going up against like another yeah. big ring receiver, mm-hmm. he makes it a point to like I, I want to be targeted a bunch. Interesting question. And then you still which quarterback in this matchup would you take? Deshaun Watson easily. What about you? Damn. Unless we're in the playoffs, then I'll Damn. take Matt Ryan. We, what are we talking yards or touchdowns? <laughs> no, we're just talking like like you're starting to franchise. Like Matt Ryan, you're starting Matt to Ryan gonna throw for more yards, but less touchdowns. You're starting to franchise today. Matt Ryan still got like no, what, said, three, okay. four. Deshaun Watson's like six years younger. I know. Oh no, no. Okay, no. but you you got to make start the franchise today. You got to make Deshaun a Super Bowl Watson in five years. You got to make a Super Bowl in five years. Deshaun Watson in five years. In five That's what I'm saying. I don't think the in five years Matt Ryan's wait 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 because Matt Ryan still got like four more. years. We factoring in the team because like. It's like we factoring in the team. Then they you know? both they both got the Atlanta Falcons squad. Hmm. Oh well, I'm not making a Super Bowl hmm. with that team at yeah, all. No. So <laughs> I'm gonna just no, make my peace with Deshaun Watson. I make my peace with, Deshaun 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 with death be better with them. I because he moves around and airs it out a little, bit, a little this, bit better. I might have to take Deshaun Watson. Also, you shouldn't feel bad. He's way younger. I I, I have a matter. Hey, I don't think that matters sometimes. Thing, though, I don't like, think it's far hey, off the, though. But the old ass quarterbacks. Though, the I like what I see from Deshaun. Hey, Watson. That's that's one thing that I need give that maturity. Matt Ryan. He's been a lot more healthy in his career so far than Deshaun Watson. Like I'm pretty sure if you put games missed, he's probably higher. Even though he's been in the league. Way longer. Oh, yeah. I mean, lower, even though he's been in the league way longer. Yeah, his O line being. Yeah, I love Deshaun, hmm. and it's not even mostly his fault because his O line is just fucking trash. Right. But he be getting his shit stopped up. I know. For a quarterback that can run, that nigga be getting smacked. All right, so who you, who you got, Ivan? What you mean? Oh, uh, in this game? Yeah. game? Yeah. Oh, uh, I got, I'm going to have to take the Texans. Texans. And I want to say the Texans, but like just because how bad the Falcons. I just because of how bro. bad we are. Stop it to yourself. Just because of how bad we are, bro. But hey, Why these are low key some competitive. Uh, I'm, I'm taking the Falcons, bro. That's, that's I'm taking the Falcons. Like, bro, you the only game we talked about so I hate far to do it. that might be a blowout is like Eagles Jets because I doubt yeah. Jaguars right. Panthers will. Be. Texas Falcons. I mm, doubt no. Vikings no. Giants will. I Texas don't blow nobody out for some reason, so I doubt them too. And the Jets be somehow, some way competing with good teams. The game coming up next. It's like the Jets play up. This made up for what sometimes. how last week games were supposed to be. Yeah, games. Last week's ended up being good, but they were supposed to be ass. But yeah, the next game should hmm. also be somewhat competitive because it's Bucks Saints and the Bucks. Mm. The Saints are like obviously a better team, but the Bucks have been 
it's they like been a, on a little a team, like, team, like yeah, yeah. They they but been, at they the been same letting time, that, like, that shit spit a little bit. They defense hasn't been letting shit. Shaq Barrett has been teeing off team, on niggas, but that one team scored fifty five like points. If you said one of these teams scored fifty five points last week and the other scored twelve, I'm going. I'm going Saints all the way. You know what I mean? Know. Even like, if you just, like didn't tell niggas, you was like which team like was which team which? was it? Right? Yeah, I would probably be like fifty four. That's probably the Saints. It's right? The Saints probably did that. Mm-hmm. Any team in league, and Bucks, probably, my, Bucks probably scored. All right, so the Saints. Right? This is also in the Superdome. So I just feel way. like the, with the Bucks mm, the way they the scoring. Dome? Okay. I don't Jake, know, bro. You're a sick man, bro. I feel like <laughs> I feel like uh, That's a the Bucks. Child. All right, you got Bucks. Go ahead. Yeah, the Bucks. I got get them. I think Teddy B. Because yeah, you're right. The, because they can't. I don't hey, think Shaq New Bear Orleans might, can score with the. Shaq with Bear might the Bucks. kill that nigga tomorrow though. Hey, you think uh, Shaq Bear gonna hit that nigga in his bad knee? Shoot, I, I, had that boy, he got sat, every time he gets sacked, I'd be like, you know, yeah, no, I'd be tears, scared, bro. bro. I'd be Hold on, on the verge of who are you talking about, Bridge, uh, Bridge, Bridgewater? Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah, please, he, bro, he got, he got, nah. he there was got, one like, place he was like time. scrambling, nah, yeah. and he got his feet like wrapped up, and I was like, oh, Damn, oh you saw man. when he got, he got hit low. I forgot who it was by. Oh yeah, yeah, towards the end of the game. Yeah, he got hit low. I was like, oh god, yeah, the one they called the penalty. I was like, bro, please save this nigga, but uh, hey. Shaq Barrett so far, yeah, he, bro, he's on pace right now for thirty six sacks. Yeah, no, he's been <laughs> going off. He got nine Damn. sacks in four games. He's been That's playing ridiculous. amazing. I got Saints. Hard. If the Saints are beating the Cowboys like that, I think the Cowboys are legit. Mm. The Saints, Sean Payton, bro, a good coach is well. I guess the the Bruce Arians is also a very good coach, but. Sean Payton is a whole different monster. I think he's up there with Mike Tomlin and Bill Belichick. He's a better coach than Mike Tomlin. He, I, think, I think he's a better coach than Mike Tomlin. But him, he's up there. He's not Bill Belichick. But any I other, put if there's in, any coach in the I league I would take over yeah. before Bill Belichick, I mean, not before Belichick, you after like Bill right, Belichick, mm-hmm. you saying it he's would like, be. It would he's be in that like Andy Reid tier? Yeah, like, yeah. like, like niggas like, who can't yeah. beat Belichick. Right. But, yeah. but they have Bill Belichick. On the other side. Yeah, they mm-hmm. both have like Real fatal talk. flaws too. Like. Yeah. Andy Reid and time management, mm. that shit is a meme for a reason. It's just bad. <laughs> and then, but I've always, I hate Sean Payton, but like after that Super Bowl halftime onside kick, it's like the, the most G shit <laughs> ever. But All right, bro. I don't Real know if there's talk. anything better you can do in the Super Bowl. You got to trade mm. Matt Ryan to the Saints, and you get Sean Payton as your coach. Are you doing it? Who do I get as my quarterback though? No, but he, whoever he picks. I'll take that. Yeah. I, I would. I would honestly. Gonna be a trash like he's gonna, I would he's, honestly. He's you gonna got stay Julio. with y'all for like ten years. You got Julio. You got Sanu. Sanu. Hooper. Ridley Hooper. Mm-hmm. We need a new running back. Defense has. What was a trash quarterback though? Whoever. I, I don't think Sean Payne's gonna make any. Quarterback Whoever he trash. throw out there, I'm gonna. If he can make. If he can win games with Teddy Bridgewater and Taysom Hill, mm. so that when. Yeah, he'll probably just take Taysom Hill. Yeah, he'll he, be like, all right, because Dan Quinn will probably be like, all right, mm-hmm. Taysom Hill, we don't need you. They're gonna and be like, he'll be like, all right, I'll take him. So, <laughs> or Pitt. we draft a quarterback next year, Nathan and he'd be a yeah. fucking guy. With <laughs> all right, Sean so wait, are we all so going, I, would, I would take that. Are we all going Saints or there's somebody? He think? went Bucks. I went, yeah, 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 I went Bucks bold, because bro. I feel that's, like. That's a bold move. I respect you. I feel like they got two I wouldn't be surprised. I'll say that. I wouldn't be surprised. All I right. don't know what it is with this season. They, Coming up next. Niggas going off. A game that sounds boring as shit. The Boy. Bills at the Titans. This one is no. actually a kind of hard. Like, this is just a pick em. Yeah, but is this the most boring game of the week? No, that's a fire uh, game, bro. Of all the games so fire, far. Nigga, the Titans are the most boring No, team. I watched the Titans last week. They weren't looking like the most boring team in the league last week. So. Uh, They definitely were. <laughs> all those playing defense with zero. Like, defense is amazing to watch. Not the way I think. Not saying, the way they play. Like that, hard hitting. Like bro, great. You defense, have great players. That new. That new. But when AB, it's just fundamental, like Patriots. <laughs> AJ defense, Brown. Like and, Patriots defense uh, is boring to watch because it's just fundamental. Nah, really. yeah, like, like, it's good players on the team, but you don't have any like crazy like, players. But like yeah, like, that's why I was always defense, mad at the Spurs. Like the Ravens. The Ravens. <laughs> like, like the Ravens. Like that's the, a defense. Nigga, I like the watch. Bears. Like shit like that. Like you got a dominant pass rusher. Like Earl Thomas and Eddie Jackson gonna blow a nigga. Yeah, even the Jaguars. Like you got Andy Reid. Might even blow a nigga shit out. Fucking Miles Jack sprinting down the field. Like, but like Bills type defense where it's just like. They just like Sean McDermott is just a really good defensive coordinator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That type of defense is super boring to watch because they just finna fill up the lanes. I got the Bills though, even though I hate the Bills. That's it. I think that's a good pick. 
I got the Titans on the cool. Hey, bro, you might be right. And because I, I hope you are because I hate the Bills and I never want anything good to happen to them. So, you know. Nah, but the Bills been playing. They've been playing solid like a motherfucker. But nah, Marcus Mariota, I think he's underrated. And I think now he got maybe maybe two good receivers that he can throw the ball to. Hey, bro, he be overthrowing Corey um, Davis like shit. Yeah, he do. But Niggas would think Corey Davis was nicer if he was with any other quarterback. But. I'm looking at this shit. Fucking like that nigga had 91 Diggs. yards last week. So Wait, where's like, this at? Nigga almost had a hundred yard game. Huh? Where's this at? He almost it's had two hundred yard receivers. It's in Tennessee. It's in Delaney Tennessee. Walker. You know what I mean? Delaney, so, yeah, he always gonna hold it down. Right. And Derrick so, Henry is like streaky. He likes streaky he is. shit, but but we this is gonna see how Bills how good the Bills defense <laughs> is this week. I mean, you know, if they can hold their whole offense and, and I think without the, for me, really a I don't quarterback. Think, and yeah. still beat them, beat the Titans because the Titans they just been looking good. Is Josh Allen like, playing aesthetically, this week? like they've been looking good to me. Mm-hmm. Is he playing? I was thinking like, Barkley, he he out or not? Oh, Barkley's still. Yeah, it's still gonna be Barkley. Oh, hey. see, yeah, no, nah. that, that boy, Maddie uh, B. Uh, I, I got Titans. I don't think this is but, gonna show anything about either team because I think if you shut down the Titans, oh well, like their offense usually shuts down itself. Like if you had hmm. a competent defense out there. You're gonna make the Titans look like shit. This is definitely gonna be like a ten but, nine game. Yeah, but the also the y'all the defense Bills is not competent. <laughs> the Bills, they no, y'all our last defense week. isn't competent. That's exactly nah, what yeah. I'm saying. That man looks right. like Tom Brady. Yeah, like Vic Beasley right. on a sub by himself out there. But anyway, uh, anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so wait, did y'all both pick Titans? I pick Bills. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah I Moving on to Titans. another game that Jesus Christ, who's making these schedules? Cardinals <laughs> Bengals. Wow! Oh, somebody said that game might be a flex to the Cartoon Network. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> I was dying. I was like, "That's fucked up." Hey, that, that boy. Uh, what's it called? Kyler Murray been looking like that boy Jerry off of Tommy Jerry out there, though. <laughs> Dude, the Cardinals get the damn. Right uh, Dude, Cardinals. Who, who gets their first win this week? Cardinals. Cardinals. I'm gonna yeah. say Cardinals. They have. They've looked. But they almost beat the Ravens, who are gonna play be a playoff team, and they almost beat the Lions, who might not be the best but, team in the NFC North. <laughs> no, they at the top of them. Actually, they're For you know, bro. Make a case. It's crazy. Make a case. It's crazy because yeah, their loss last week made me respect them more as a yeah. team. Because yeah. if they just didn't have a couple bullshit turnovers, they would have beat the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. we're talking. So, but yeah, yeah. I think you see the, how we hyping up the Chiefs. Yeah, the the Cardinals. I got them because nigga, the fucking uh, Bengals have shown us. No- they played against a team that people thought, all right, this is a game they can finally play close. Right. And they got fucking blitzed <laughs> by fucking Blitz Mason Berg. Rudolph. Let's get it. Um, yeah, they got they also got, they got trash last week. It's they Cincinnati. said somebody was saying that Andy, Andy Dalton is gonna come back with a vengeance, but I I, I mean Andy Dalton will play good if it's Brady, not. I don't see hey, is he, AJ Ross playing because uh, John like, Ross. I mean uh, no, AJ Ross. Oh AJ, AJ Green. Green. Nah, no, I don't think John Ross. Like John Ross, no, I think yeah. I think he is. No, but I, like, I if, any game, if there's any game Andy Dalton's gonna go off, is gonna be a game like this. Yeah. But Andy Dalton yeah. going off though, that'd be like he, but wait, come he, out, he does it as long he, as it's not. Who's gonna home? come out give you that two twenty three touchdown no pick game? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Andy Dalton when he, he like yeah when he's like on a t- game that no one's watching yeah. that's on like CBS <laughs> the greatest quarterback ever CBS Canada yeah he'll give he'll give you four hundred <laughs> that day. <laughs> no, nah, real talk. But I, coming yeah, off of that, you right. I think I have to go with the Bengals on the call. The Bengals? Hey. I, hey just because the Cardinals have a Hey, I, if you oh, write boy. on all these ones you're going against us, you your record going to be like, this is going to be a, a week where one of us going to be 9 and 5, yeah, the other um, one going to be like 5 and 9 nah, type shit. All right. I, I got the cards. But I've been watching, man. Because I think this is like the perfect game for the the Cardinals just to finally. It should have been. And last the Bengals week. defense is bad, too. It should have been last week they got their first dub. Larry Fitz. But they couldn't fucking handle the Panthers. But you know what? Um, Christian Kirk is out, too. I'm cool. Wait, no. So. Didn't they play Panthers last week? What did they play last week? Or was that two weeks? I don't ago? feel like you're going to have too many targets. Uh, I don't know. Hey, you remember who the Cardinals played last week? I think it was the Panthers. Let me see. It was uh, the Seahawks. They got oh. trounced by the Seahawks. Oh, yeah. They got yeah, their ass yeah, well, but yeah, that's that the Seahawks, was, though. Yeah. Seahawks back. Uh, moving I got on. the Cardinals, Bengals. Mm-hmm. I don't think their offense can do something every now and then. But I think this is just – I don't think the Cards are going to go undefe- – I mean, uh, uh, lose every game. Yeah, winless. So yeah. Mm-hmm. I think this is going to be the perfect time to get their first dub. All right, coming up to probably the worst game of the week that we talked about earlier, <laughs> Patriots-Redskins. Yuck. Yikes. Gross. 
I'm glad this is a 12 o'clock game because don't nobody <laughs> need to see this. <laughs> this is going to be. Uh, Niggas need to be still. They finna, the Patriots are finna do the Redskins like they did us. So I'm mm-hmm. expecting like a 34 3 or 34 nothing game. Mm. Especially since fucking Cole McCoy going to be getting his shit slagged up and down. Dang. I'm going to pick some Patriots in fantasy because the niggas is. Yeah. They mm-hmm. might. Uh, you, got, you got Patriots yeah, too? Yeah, Patriots definitely. Okay, I yeah, also cool. got Patriots. I don't think we need to talk about this one too much. Cole McCoy makes it interesting though. I don't know. It's yeah. two, nah. two good touchdowns. And nah, I thought he was going to say two good completions on like one drive. Unless Adrian like turns like, back the clock. It's like, like 35, five years. 14. Cole McCoy has two amazing plays for touchdowns. And gets injured at the end it. of the game. I, I Terry mean, McLaurin is 50-50. It's like. My prediction. They don't look good. For this game is Cole McCoy gets injured making a nine yard scramble on third and twelve. Jamison Crowder scores four that touchdowns. Hey, <laughs> nigga, you do that, I'll put five hundred on that. Next <laughs> <laughs> nice game on the sleeve. No, nah, real talk. Ravens Steelers. Bruh. See, you know. Smart Money says the Ravens like win this hard, mm-hmm. but, but the they play game. and they also play down to like teams that aren't that good sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I'm Oh, also it's in Pittsburgh. Right. Uh, they and terrible, they just got beat at home last yeah, them, week. Yeah, so them, ter- them terrible towel mm-hmm. niggas going to be out in, with a vengeance. Definitely. Rivalry they game. dropping that hard N-word on Lamar Jackson. Y'all too. know who I'm going with. Right. Oh, it's, definitely. They dropping the hard N-word. On the, yeah. yeah, that three Nah, River, but Pittsburgh is a good city. But that three like, River Stadium not, finna be three nigger stadium. Oh, oh damn. They tore that shit down. It's high as field now. <laughs> oh, yeah. They got ket- <laughs> ketchup stadium. My bad. That nigga said... Hey, I was, I was, <laughs> bro, I was watching was a, a lot of NFL one, films this week. Relax. Hey, nah, Chill, I was watching that uh, that Lynn Swan video. Yeah. Woo! I remember I back in the day, bro. Boys, nice. I got the Ravens, though. But I think it was, is my favorite I think it will be closer than people think. Like, I'm going to say, like, 24-17. Ivan. Mason Rudolph put up yeah. a couple TDs. I'm going to assume you got the Ravens. Yeah, you, you fucking know it. Nah, bro, why would, why would I pick against my squad? Yeah, man? bro, I never do in. that. This you weekend, I, I I don't know, bro. It's gonna it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a close game. You um, know, these them games are Lamar. Close. Them boys, they wanna they wanna come back with a vengeance because they probably got embarrassed by how they lost yeah. to the Browns. That's what that's exactly what I'm going. But with. I just feel like we gained the momentum, and so I like Deontay Johnson. I like, you know, what I mean, I don't know if Juju is really like hurt, hurt, but he questionable, but. That being sexuality said, is questionable. I just feel like we're going to put the defense oh. on them niggas and uh, come out with the W. I think the Ravens. You going Steelers, bro? I think the Ravens got embarrassed last week mm. and the niggas got Ravens. all the smoke. Hey, they yeah, both uh, better yeah. to let it off than Lamar. Their <laughs> biggest rival. Their biggest rival who's down in their luck this year. I think they come in. That was the Colts. I don't even think it's too – I don't think – usually this would be a close – I think if it's only been Roethlisberger, I think this is a super close game. I might even have the Patriots – I mean, mm-hmm. the Steelers winning. All right. But I, I can't see the Steelers beating. The bad part about it if is – If the like, Ravens lose this game, they're – I like Lamar They're Jackson. not nearly as yeah, they're good trash as they thought dude. they were. Yeah. Because they got – yeah, the Browns put that work on. Yeah, they got luck fucked twice. But uh, Mark Ingram on. didn't look as good as he looked all season. Oh, yeah, no, nah, that – I thought making, was, I picked him in fantasy and shit. Like, been making me look like this. This could be a statement game for the Ravens. Not though. going hard. I think they. Need it to, needs to be. They need to smack them to but, be uh, considered a good. They're not about to smack us, first of all. I know but that's what I'm saying. They need. They, to they do. All to right, be fellas, fellas, fellas. As good yeah. as they thought they were gonna be. I so think. moving on. This is basically to, for the division, on cool. Like <laughs> moving on to a game that shouldn't be good, but might be because of injuries. Bears Raiders. Chase Daniel is starting. And the Raiders have played, like, a kind of good against teams that are, like, you know, not bad. Like, they beat the Colts, you know. They uh, beat the yeah. Broncos that one time. Well, the Broncos are bad, but still. Uh, I'm gonna the Raiders say, have been surprisingly just, like, sneakily good on the cool. I'm going to give my just prediction. A bit. I think this is a, oops, excuse me, like a 9-0 to zero game. Really? Because I don't think the Bears can really – the Bears offense is not going to be good without what's his name. Without, you know, Trubbs isn't great, but he's a competent quarterback. Chase Daniels' ass. He got mm. lucky last week because, yeah. like, something happened. But I think he give him a couple drives to score. And then, I mean, Derek Carr, that nigga will under, like, some pressure. And 
Most also, nigga, fucking Khalil Mack back in his home. The niggas who traded him away, like yeah, that's what I think. Too. You Ooh. saw, you saw the interview he gave with a. Uh, all right, so they, they, he was getting this interview, and the nigga was like, "So, are you feeling like vindictive against the Raiders?" And the nigga was like, "Vindictive, I like that." And he smiled. And the nigga was like, <laughs> all right, so okay. Derek Carr getting sacked like twelve times. It might be right. raps. My right, nigga, life. So yeah, I'm going Bears, fellas. Want to weigh in? Yeah. Man, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I, I watched the Raiders last week, and I was I was just like surprised. Waller, he looking good. It's like they look like they got it together when we all know that they really probably don't. Hey, but, the Colts aren't a bad team. Either. Hey, yeah, I they're not. That's that. why I'm like the Colts is not. They would not ass. But um, I put that on John Gruden, actually being a better coach than people give him credit for. Like. The they Bears, haven't really man. gotten embarrassed that much. The Bears, I feel like the Bears been putting it together and they was they was trying to put it together with Mr. Bisky anyways. And so Chase Daniels not that far of a step down. It's like, you know what I mean? He's been in the league for a while at least and he know what he's he doing. Really like, you yeah. know what I mean? So I feel like it's gonna be a close game, but it's, I don't know. It's, it's crazy just that this game is a toss because it don't seem like it. But I'm going to go with who at home? Who's at home? The uh, Raiders are at home. The Raiders are at home. But don't nobody really be going to see them like that now. Because mm. they dipping on the score. Yeah, nah. I feel like. Yeah, they haven't moved to Las Vegas yet. They're still there. Yeah, I feel like the Raiders going to win on the call. Mm, bold. Yeah, bold. they are home. The Bears defense, I think, is kind of overrated. And so, yeah. Very bold. All right. I got the Bears. I Damn. think I think yeah. Khalil yeah. Mack revenge Bears, game. Yeah. There is no way the, Ra- the Raiders win this game. I think Khalil Mack comes out and has, like, five sacks. And the Bears all together get, like, eight sacks. Hmm. I think that's how this is going. Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't think I don't think the Raiders, they haven't been looking. I think they just kind of caught the, because I think the Colts are a good team, but I don't right. think they're like one of the better teams in the league. No. They yeah they can't they put they caught my guard. They yeah, can't I put they, uh, they did come out to they got off to a high start. Bro, my theory about the Colts is they can't put two great halves together. Like every game they'll either have a great first half or a second half, but mm. they haven't really had a great first and second. Like yeah. case in point, the Falcons game. That's been, like, true for them for a long time, too. Yeah, and then cool. now with, uh, you know, without that boy, boy hard luck out there. <laughs> but uh, moving on to... Ugh, Damn, Marcos. I can't believe I picked the Raiders in that game. Hey, nigga. But, hey. hey, bro, you either going to run, like, a 12-2 and two week or you going to be like, all right, bro, I'm out this prediction. <laughs> for good. Out the game. But uh, Broncos, Chargers? But that's that show is going to be a good week, though. Bro, is all the NFC or all the AFC West teams... Are low key and like shitty games this week, cause mm. you got the Raiders probably gonna get slapped by the Bears. You got the Chargers and Broncos, which is just a nasty game. But yeah, I mean, I that's think always a, that's always a gross. I, game I would hope too. we all have the Chargers here, but I, and I it's always at three. I can't speak for and y'all, it's always, y'all fellas. So it's always close, but it's like also this damn. Game, I don't, this is like a football game I don't want to ever watch again. <laughs> also, this game is like, a. Nah. It is in L.A., but the Chargers have zero fan base, so it's pretty much not really in. Yeah, Boy, y'all see that show Kawhi on the screen and they booed that nigga. Oh yeah, damn. that shit was funny. Are you over? Uh, I got the Chargers. Chargers? Okay. I think this game's gonna be closer than it should be, just because you know it's the Chargers and that's what them niggas do. And also, the Broncos haven't really been getting smacked this year, so. Right. I think it'll be close, but yeah, the Chargers. Even though if the game is close at the end and the ball's in Phillip Rivers' hands, he will lose the game for them. Nah. Because he's a fucking scrub. And Chargers all day on the cool. That's Because the, Dem- the Broncos have been looking ass this season. And, bro, you don't, and Melvin Gordon is coming back. But so. you don't trust a Chargers. quarterback? Uh, Chargers. Flacco? Chargers. Huh? So you don't trust Flacco, bro? Joe Flacco? Flaconator? Yeah, no. The, the Joe Flaconator? Joe Flaconator is not really going to do it for him. Sorry. Shit, nigga, I would go <laughs> hard when I seen him. Anyway. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I, so, we, so we all got charges because yeah. I definitely don't see the Broncos Ooh, doing anything. Moving on the to the cool. most interesting game of the week, The maybe. most anticipated. Yeah. America's game of the week. 
Hey, always. <laughs> but yeah, Cowboys versus the Pack at Jerry World. Mm. Cowboys got something to prove after last week. Same with the Pack. It's like a sexy mm. okay. game, and man. Both teams need this though. Is the back the cool. bro? Is the Pack back, or mm. is they gonna suck some deck? Rogers. Oh, I like how you did that. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro. I really got to think about this for a little bit because. My heart says Aaron Rodgers is because, you know, it's Aaron Rodgers. But right. the Cowboys in the regular season, they be playing the Packers well. Yeah, they, they know how to play the Packers. Actually, yeah, even in the playoffs, they don't be getting beat by them by much. Yeah, right. right. Like, they're like, always, I'm glad this game's happening because the games are always good. And I like seeing yeah. good games. On the court. And, damn. Also, yeah, the Packers defense, though, looking real nice. And Dallas also defense. I mean, I know Teddy Bridgewater is not a world beater, but still. Them niggas was in the red zone like three times and only scored 12 points in that game. Thanks. Mm. And that was with some fucking boneheaded penalties and some bad turnovers by their offense. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Kane, why don't you go first, bro? I'll go first. I I love that boy, Aaron Rodgers. That man. Pause? That dude. Pause, pause. That mustache. All right. Dead boy. But. He ain't gay now. Devontae Adams is going to be out again with a turf toe. Mm-hmm. That offense, as soon as he left the game, even though it was only like, what, two drives? Wait, who's their best rest getting now? Uh, I uh, mean, receiver. GMS or GB? Geronimo. Yeah. No. Uh, Broder, Scandal, Scandal. Geronimo, Geronimo Allison is in the other. Uh, oh, I know he's talking about. I don't remember his name either. I forgot his initials. Oh, Valdez Scantling. Yeah, Valdez Scantling. Oh, and also. MBS. But. Jimmy Graham? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if they had Devontae Adams, I've been I having that on the bench in fantasy. If they had season. Devontae Adams, I think I would go Packers this game. Is it in Jerry World or is it in like, It's in Jerry World. It's in Jerry World, in yeah. Jerry World, I think I would have the Packers still. Yeah. Because he likes to play in Jerry World. Plays mm-hmm. pretty nice there. But uh, without Devontae Adams, I feel like that receiving court is lacking. Might be the worst in the league. All right, nigga. The Dolphins exist. Our best receiver is Devontae Parker. Okay, he's probably better than Jerome. Right, he's had se- No, he's not. Uh, you all fucking drugs. Uh, nigga, relax. Uh, but Jerome Allison is like a top like, 30 wide receiver. No, he's not. Jerome Allison is barely a number two top receiver. Top 30? He's barely a number two receiver. Dude, you're barely a number top two receiver. Top 30, no. Top 50, maybe. Yeah, nigga, he, he's not. Bro, I, I don't even think bro, he's de- top Listen to me. Devontae Parker like is legitimately... 46. <laughs> Maybe the worst number one receiver in the league. Okay, but he's probably yeah, a decent number two receiver. No, he wouldn't be. No, he demands. No, I'm I, telling you, bro. I watch that nigga every week. Oh, he, yeah. Okay, presence, but y'all don't have a quarterback. His presence Geronimo Allison, disgusts Geronimo me. Allison <laughs> no, well, here's the thing, bro. No, see, nah, but that, right. no, 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 no. I'll tell you. Let me tell you why that's bullshit. Okay, <laughs> fucking uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick had niggas looking like gods out there last year, but you put him he with had, somebody he had above an Jackson. Here. He had Deshaun Jackson and Mike. Nigga, he had OJ yeah. Howard, Howard looking like a god. He okay, OJ Howard. OJ nice. Howard not a god. All three of them niggas is nice on the court. Yeah, all three of them were nice. You can definitely. Nigga, hey, I'm always probably can be meat. Nathan. <laughs> Just because I smoke meat, probably can be mean. Nathan Peterman and throw it to them niggas on the call. You give Ryan Fitzpatrick an Bro, offense. Ryan Fitzpatrick he's had... gonna play okay. He's gonna he's gonna put up some numbers every game, every yeah, now and then. Shoot your ass up. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, Devontae yeah. Parker. Are y'all ready to make a prediction mm-hmm. yet? Y'all yeah. want to? I got I got trash about the goat Geronimo Allison. I got Cowboys. I think they come out prove a point that they still are one of the better teams and that they can beat teams better than the Dolphins. I also hope the Dolphins, I mean, the Cowboys win because I hate the Packers. I'm not you a big what? Cowboys fan, but I, I might just... Yeah, since y'all going with the Cowboys, I want the Cowboys to win, actually, but... No, I haven't said the Cowboys yet. I'm still, oh, I'm still yeah? thinking because okay, it's still Aaron Rodgers on the other side. And of that's what I was thinking. I'm like, it's still Aaron Rodgers. I feel Friday like... He... Scanlon is not a bad receiver. Geronimo Allison is not a bad receiver. Yeah, King. They, they still got like a... You know what I mean? They still got who? What's the really good uh, offense? Name? Matt Jones or whatever. Their like defense been surprisingly good. I don't know Zeke. He got shut down last week, and hey, but he did I have just, a. He, unless that nigga bounced back, and all them niggas just like get it together. He did give them two one hundred yard games before that. I feel like um, Gallup may be underrated with they uh, in like as far as they offense goes. They missing them though because I don't, I don't know if they're getting. I them think back. he's coming back this week. Oh okay. I oh, think that kind of threw him off last week because I don't think him and Rand, uh, Dak and Randall Cobb got 
chemistry like that. I sneaky think Michael Gallup was nice. But yeah, me it's too. That's what I was thinking. It's just, yeah. it's just the fact that he can I'm, take the top off. Like you exactly. have to respect it. Like you and that's what I was thinking. Take my top off, and that's what I think. That's I what's the getting off. Amari open more. I give him top like off. when he's yeah. in the game. When you don't have to outside like, the top off. go. You Amari know what I mean? can burn you, but he. He's going to route you up. Before right. But Randall Cobb don't really <laughs> pros that much for threat. And so last week they had to like force feed this nigga yeah. Amari or try to at least. But I think Randall Cobb. Even uh, what's the name? Just did a good job of shutting that nigga down all game on the cool. Um, who Eli was the Apple? Saints cornerback that? Uh, Eli Apple. No. Nah. Lattimore. Lattimore. Marshawn yeah, Lattimore. Yeah, he's got a bunch of PIs yeah. that weren't getting called. But, uh, yeah, kind of sort of. But he was shutting that nigga down for the most part. Nah, his shit is like blazing. So I feel he like how the Packers defense been playing, bro, and how the Cowboys looked last week, I feel like the Packers might win this game. So I'm going to go with the Packers. Even though while I'm sitting there watching the game, I'm going to be like rooting for the Cowboys because, I mean, I, I fucked the Cowboys. I'm going to agree with Ivan and say the Packers, but I also also want the Cowboys to win. Yeah. Because I fuck with my man Dak. That boy Dak is snap. Right. But this game is going to – we're going to be able to see, like, how good Dak is on the cool. This is a statement game for both teams. They Real both talk. come off of, like, kind of Because you at home, losses. bro. Like, you at yeah, home. Not, you not playing a good losses, team. But te- games you came that they out the both should have won probably. Like, the Packers – The Packers loss is worse, I think. Yeah, they should have mm-hmm. won that game. And then the Cowboys, you have another NFC team without their starting quarterback. What more could you ask for? Like, right. if you're going to be in the playoffs, these are the type of teams you're going to have to beat. Real talk. So, Big facts always. So, and going I, against a playoff team, they can never beat. Yeah, so I think, I think they're they going to have both, to score more than fucking 10 points. I think this Packers. is a statement game for both, but I think the Cowboys. I, I think, think they they, yeah, I think this is going to be. A classic Cowboys Packers 27 20. Right. Couple of turnovers, couple of great throws. Mm-hmm. I can't, personally, I can't wait to watch it. So I'm not Me really either. too worried about who wins. I want the Cowboys to win, but I just hope it's like another one of those games where we'll be like, right. When they play each other in a couple of years, we'll be like, damn, that last one, heater. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. Moving on to and, our uh, Sunday night game. Des caught it. Colts no. Chiefs <laughs> in Kansas City. Colts, Chiefs in Kansas mm. City. I don't know because the Colts, like I said, they do be having like a great half out of nowhere. Right, be amazing. Plus, the Chiefs are like due for like a loss coming with, up. With the twenty-one point coming no. up, and Andrew Luck. If if Andrew Luck was here this season, no. this would be a good that was, uh, game. That's okay. not even cold yet. So, yeah, no, yeah but they also lost. It's gonna be a good night in Kansas City. Got fucking dick. Yeah, that boy Mahomes, he's yeah, Mahomes, that's, that's he's extreme. about to go off on um, on Indianapolis. All right, who who y'all got? I, yeah. think, I, I think, think this is gonna be. Got, but. I think it's gonna be. I got Chiefs, but I think it's gonna be a high scoring game because their defense yeah. is bad, and then you know Mahomes is hmm. Mahomes gonna get his somehow, right. some way, no matter what. Like he didn't have no touchdowns last week, but he still threw for what like three sixty, man, and didn't turn the ball over. The cool. Well, I think he had a fumble. Oh yeah, well I don't I might, yeah. I don't count those because. You know, when he got them supple hands, of course, he's going to drop the ball sometimes. <laughs> Am I right? Back this me up here, buddy. No, oh, thanks, dog. So, Y'all wait, niggas, are we man. all going Chiefs or are you thinking Colts, Ivan? No, no, no. I'm thinking Chiefs. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's it's going to be a good night in Kansas Chiefs. City, I'm man. I'm hopeful it's yeah. going to be a close game, Patrick though. Holmes. So far, Sunday night The guy's the truth, man. I can't, I can't lie. I think this is going to be another Sunday night letdown. Like, what? Sunday night been good besides hey, week nice. one. Never mind. Their week one game was bad. Yeah, no. Yeah, sometimes it'd be like I, that. When I said that, I was thinking about all the Monday night games. Oh, well, the Monday oh, night yeah. game Monday for night this games week. Been trash this year. For some reason, the Browns are back on Monday night football. Yeah, twice in a row. Mm. Against. Uh, They're not twice in a row. No. Nah. But. The oh, yeah, no. There's, two and three weeks. there's been an AFC North team on Monday night football the last, like, three weeks. Yeah. And then next week, we get a classic Monday night football when the Pittsburgh Steelers go down to South Beach to take on the Miami Dolphins. No, real talk? Yes. I didn't even know that. That game is that's nasty. That's wild. The that's like, what, that's four in a row? Why do we want to see our division so bad? Because, I mean, y'all some, supposed to have three spotlight. playoff adjacent teams. But yeah, you right. Yeah, Browns 49ers and San Francisco. Bro, this seems like a game the 49ers could win because they make a lot of mistakes. But you know who else make, makes a lot of mistakes and turns the ball over, like, all the time? Baker, baby. The fucking Browns. Man. So. But the niggas scored 40 points. Last I feel week. like this is going to be a turnover-ridden game where both teams probably still get, like, you know, like, high 20s. 
How good is the 49ers defense? It's going to be. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's all right. They're, it's they're, good. They're it's going to be their the D-line best. Is good. Yeah, they're mostly predicated, though, on like getting you know I mean? like chance turnovers. Yeah. How the nigga said predicated. Good. They <laughs> got Richard Sherman. They're, oh, yeah, that boy Sherman. He, he yeah. getting hit. Right. They, they're not going to win you games, but they're not going to like right. let no. someone throw. They haven't so far. Yeah, the least. games they will lose this year is going to be due to like Jimmy G and like them putting the ball on the floor. Yeah. Right. It's not gonna be a because he had he got like but he no, like eight um, turnovers this season so far. Two so. great uh run games against the, against each other. So That's, oh yeah, that um, boy Breed have been giving it to niggas. And and, and Chubb uh, gave Holster? it to the niggas last week. Um they say gave it to the Ravens last week. They like second and Chevin Coleman <laughs> might be back. But yeah, they second running back. Uh his I forgot his first name, but Mostert for the 49ers. Mm-hmm, yeah. He him and like uh, Breda, they're like that Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman running back duel from a couple years ago. Right, it's because right. it's Kyle Shanahan. That was a hard Kyle Shanahan. Oh, yeah, Kyle Shanahan. Himself. Yeah. Facts. When you get those two running that. backs and a quarterback that can make reads, right. that's all you need. I mean, he went to the Super Bowl with a quarterback who couldn't make reads. Like, uh, he's just that uh, nice. <laughs> but, yeah, man. So, got? I feel like Smart Money says. The Browns, if the Browns win this game, they're definitely going to go on a roll and win like three in a row. Like this might be, I think this right, could be a, like a defining moment. Yeah, this could be a turning point game for them after right. last week. I think that turning point game might have been last week. That, yeah. That Ravens game, I think. Yeah, no, I'm saying I agree with you like on that, that, but I think this might be like the, the rolling game. Like yeah. right. they beat a good team last week, but this week it's like, like can okay, we take care of this team? That might not be. Because everybody good. had high expectations for these things at the beginning yeah. of the year, and they just don't look like. They're going oh, yeah, no, they, to you Their know offensive I mean? scheme is just not good. Mm, yeah. Like, they definitely have talent everywhere, but, but if Nick Chubb can keep, can they keep it going. They tried to do last week, just hand the ball. Mean? Like, right. yeah, when, when last year, when Baker Mayfield was successful, if they can get the run going, like, I feel right, like then they can open up the yeah, It's Because like, they were like, I mean? last year, they it were like, happens. all right, Baker, we're not going to, you can make some throws, but we're not going to make you make throws. Right. So we're going to hand it off to Duke Johnson. Oh, yeah, no, that boy. And now they're, now, well, last week, Nick Chubb been giving me a Chubb. Yeah, next. Last week they said, "All right, we're just gonna give it back." Didn't we like go that back one. To what we were doing before. <laughs> give, give it to him. Give it to Chubb. Chubb. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. so who y'all got? <laughs> I'm saying Chase Brown? got like. Uh, what? damn, I don't know, bro. Give me a second. Like, I feel like the Browns ridiculous. should win, but if there's if this game has like six turnovers, then I think the 49ers will win. So hmm. I'll make my prediction. Then I hmm. this might be different. I got the 49ers. Yeah, because I feel, it's in San Francisco. They're home, right? Monday saying. night, Kyle Shanahan, he has been known to play Your home crowd pretty be good on my nigga. That's yeah, fact. Yeah. Remember that uh, Rams 49ers game yeah. a couple years ago? Yeah, he can play. And with the Falcons, when he was with us, all our primetime games were actually pretty good. Yeah. Except the Super Bowl. And then in the red, with the Redskins, oh, shut up. <laughs> you, you just see it, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a mess out of me. I think it's a mess out of you, bro. No, but for real though. Now that Kane's off the mic. <laughs> Matt Ryan's a fucking bum. Oh, fucking didn't bitch. like your didn't like your take. Like part of my fucking jump, the core jump. Is it working? Out. It's like this is trash. Okay, on the pack. Hey, I'm on, <laughs> that, I'm on that coke pack. No, yeah, okay. what was your bro? So I got I got 49ers. I think Kyle Shanahan comes in. Like I said, they might no, get before. they might get Tevin ah! Coleman back this week. It might be another week. Well, Chase but, uh, I'm gonna say Browns. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a good game. I feel like. Um. Yeah, I think I gotta go with the Niners just because they at home. I just I want the Browns to win because I fucks with Baker. Obviously, I don't know how many times I said I'm from Oklahoma, but fucking uh, hey, bro, y'all be putting out some talented players, man. You know what I mean? You know, see, Andrew Jones. Man, Adrian Peterson. <laughs> Damn, this is this guy. What'd you say about Adrian, Adrian Peterson, nigga? Bum, I said if Adrian Peterson go no, off. No, Kane's talking <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> fucking Washington going to be. trying to gang bang? I mean, gang up on Patriots. this nigga? That's the second best running back of all time. Listen. Well, not all time. Dude. I was going to say. I don't think all time. OJ Simpson's number one. Emmitt Smith, number two. Uh, what? Nah, bro, bro OJ on. Simpson is a top three running back. Okay, OJ no. Simpson might be easy. Emmitt Smith isn't. Oh, yeah, no. I would take Barry. Barry Sanders is in there. Emmitt Smith is top ten. Yeah, he's top. He's top he five. He's top three. Don't, top don't, don't top but no, ten. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 49ers because they're home. And his prime held on. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm not taking Adrian. Peterson. You've taken uh. Bro, AP took fucking Christian Ponder to the playoffs. <sighs> Are you taking? He took Tavares Jackson to the playoffs. Ooh. Are you taking? You're not taking Barry Sanders over him. 
I mean, Bernie nope. Sanders didn't do shit. I didn't so. watch. Uh, no, Barry Sanders is fucking. No, yeah. he's a goat, but like he wasn't good enough to win you some games like AP in his prime. You're right. They also always had a good. Wait, right. actually, no, he took. Nigga, also he, ran, always, he ran, but he ran for a hell of yards and while losing hell of yards. So like, ama- wait, did you <laughs> think what team? You, what team he was going with? He said oh, I said 49ers because oh. at home. All right, so I'm the only one on this Browns train. Yep. Yeah, hey, I'm bro. down with Brown. Mm. Listen, man. I just, I don't know. I want the, like I said, I want the Browns to win. But. Oh, yeah. I kind of like both of these teams. So I, I'm fine. Jimmy with G Rebel looking wins. good. The running game looking good. The defense ain't really, you know what I mean? Looking too shabby. Like, hey, what's oh. that? What's that? Wait, is that the Monday night game? Yes, sir. Go ahead and right, give it to him. Go ahead and give it to him on Monday night. Yeah, give it to a good Thursday team on Monday night and show everybody that you're oh, a good team. Oh, shit. You right, brother. All right. Yeah, yeah let me pick that Thursday. Yeah, night. I'm going to pick that Thursday. Ooh. Giants at Patriots. Why? Uh-oh. Nah, that's going to be Danny Dimes' statement it's game. Danny Dimes about to come out and clip them Continue boys. Eli's legacy? <laughs> it depends on how that do this all right, I'm picking the so Giants, cool. and I'm not going to explain myself, but I'm picking the Giants. <laughs> at all. I don't give a fuck. It right. will be 20 to 14. Hold on. Where, um, Who's where making they the at? Though? Where they at? Evan, Evan Ingram. Ingram. Okay. Right, as long as you say that. Oh, it's in the new... It's in the, I mean, Patriots. Uh oh, Fox. Hey, bro, that shit. Hey, Listen. Eli was better with the white zone than the blue. That's all. You know what I mean? On the cool. Shit, boy. Did they yeah. wear the whites in the second one too? Go ahead yeah, and give me the blues. Patriots, oh. cause Danny, Danny Jones. Hey. I got a homegirl named Danny hey, Jones. Danny Jones locker. And, uh, he locking niggas in there. Yeah. To lock me in there. Right, I also got the pad. <laughs> Danny Dimes is not gonna look good against Bill Belichick. I'm sorry to say this is gonna yeah, be his first game that he doesn't real. look good. Well, yeah. he didn't really look good. I last think week. I think next. I mean, I think Sunday there's he's still gonna look good. I think they're still gonna lose. You look good, but I think he's still gonna look good. <laughs> you look good. But this week I I don't think. That's he, just I nice. mean. Uh, Pat's. Uh, I think Bill Belichick. I think clamps that man. Danny Dimes yeah, puts nah, up three talk. touchdowns. And if Bill no. Belichick finally has a heart attack, he gives up the ghost. Damn. That's my prediction. No, I just don't understand, man, how good the Patriots defense has been this hey, bro, year. Hey, Rose, because they Bill like, Belichick every year. It's They've just had, like, like, a top 10 defense, like, a top no. 10 scoring defense, like, every year this decade. Nobody's going nobody's gonna to really Maybe like beat the past them niggas. Two All right, well, yeah, Unless here's the thing, really though. That's kind of cheating because they get to play – the Bills and that, Jets that four facts. times that a year. Facts. That is facts. And that also, facts. Tom Brady gonna be and well rested. Don't, don't say like they don't get to play. The nah, Tom Brady gonna be even well when they beat us, their defense don't be killing us. They are gonna be so up you, thirty-five. You like y'all nothing. didn't score any points against them last right, time. Right, y'all gonna be. Hey, we're being bad on purpose. The niggas gonna be up thirty-five to nothing at halftime this weekend. So can't hold us. Tom Brady gonna have eighteen days off. Wait, who they playing this weekend? The Zicarinos. I'm talking about Brady. Don't worry about You're it. You're going to get the best right, of Jones. Yeah. What'd you say, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We dropping picks off. Hey, that's going to be that boy Baker. Right. <laughs> uh, or do you want to talk about the Yankees or do you want to end it with the Yankees? Do the I got five on it? Or what, what, we, what we doing? What we doing? Man. I need to um. This is about to round the Hold time. On, I'm, I'm start getting I'm, into baseball. I had a third five again. on it. Right. We all we have another segment coming up soon. Yes. It's called I, I got fifty on it, which yeah. is an end of season. Prediction. It's gonna be Ooh. an end of season bet. I was bang, not able bang. to pick any bets that I want to bet fifty dollars on yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're saving that so, for the uh, halfway point of the season. So probably it. week or eight or nine. Okay, we can do that. I I have no problem with that. Hmm. So. But it is coming soon. You said week eight or nine? Y'all doing it for the for the end of the season? Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm. We'll be, we'll be y'all make up something. y'all making up your own predictions, right? Yeah. Or like Yeah, um, we try to make like three. I got five on it, and then the okay. other person picked one. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it'll probably be kind of the same thing with that. I see y'all. I see y'all. All right. Well we can get on the I got five on it. Run don't it. sue us, the loon is. Please don't. Dun, 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 Thank you. Hey, Yuck dun, Mouth, you were a real dun, nigga, bro. I said we got dun, fight dun, on dun. it. That's what I actually said. Not five. I got, I got that mouth on you. Uh, right, hey, you want to go back? first or me, brother? I'll go first. All right. All right. So my got five on it is number one, Leonard Fournette. I'm trying to. I want to make sure I have his exact. I know he wrote ran for like 220 yards. I believe a lot of fucking yards. Yeah. Which uh, so it was what the hold on. Let me find his uh, fucking stats, brother. 
I know it was like 200 something. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, yeah, 225. Mm-hmm. So my prediction is that he doesn't, or my one of the five on it you could pick is that he doesn't even get a quarter of that many this week. So that would be he doesn't even get 56 yards. Mm, okay. Number okay. two mm-hmm. is that Jimmy G has more turnovers than Bake Money on Monday Night Football. Mm-hmm. And then number three is that the Bears defense outscores their offense on Sunday. So okay. So you you would if you I, t- I want the Bears offense to score more than their defense. That's the one you want? No, that's what I would be betting right there, right? Mm-hmm. No, yeah, if you pick this one, yeah, and the Bears defense scores six and their offense scores nothing, you win the five. Oh, so you're okay, so No, yeah, I'm making a bet for you to you pick okay, one of these. Okay. I actually like that. I was gonna the Bears defense outscores their offense. I'm going to take that. I was you actually, like that more than Fournette? Like, I feel like he's super streaky. I mean, I, he's – I believe that. Nah, but then they're going to These are all actually good because Jimmy yards, G has though. more turnovers than Bake Money. I feel like Baker Mayfield might – I don't know. He, he can turn the yeah. ball over a little bit. But that Bears defense outscores the offense, like I said, I don't know why. I feel like it's going to be a magical game. Mm-hmm. Right, Khalil man. Mack gets a like a strip sack touchdown. Mm. Eddie Jackson gets a pick six. Talk hey, about it. Will. Fucking Kendall or uh, who's that? Kyle Prince Bull? of Mukamara hey, gets a, a pick six. <laughs> Wait, I think. Wait, you going too far now? I don't know, but nah, I, think, yeah, yeah. I think that defense, <laughs> he has I the most. He has, he, nah, he Prince, had like three Prince defensive hard, touchdowns but, last year. I think that defense is gonna. I'm just saying, like, even if it's only Russell. like, even if they only score fourteen, and it's like a fourteen to like a twenty-one to seven game or some shit. I think that defense might do it. So, that's the one I take. All right. I put it in there. Lock it in. Now, my I got fives on it. Hey, you know what would be a funny way for you to win that bet? What? If the Bears win that game like 2 nothing, and it's like a safety. (laughs) 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 All right. My I got fives on it. All right. So, okay. Bears get seven sacks against the Raiders. Seven plus sacks. That's not a bad one, but go ahead. Keep going. So, okay, I'll start doing like how you just did it too. Like, good bets to like that might be good to take. Yeah. Instead of yeah, that's I how I think. Because I was doing it like. Before, yeah, it was kind of confusing. Yeah, I was doing it like bets that I would take, basically. All right. Uh, Cardinals and Bengals put up 70 combined points. <laughs> 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 that's like, it's like at least 35, 35. Uh, nah. <laughs> 42, 28, some shit like that. No, 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 no. All right. And my last one. Not picking Kyler and Fantasy. I forgot what that was. Oh, the Redskins keep it under 10. Like the score. Like, not keep the score. Like but how much they keep it. Run. Yeah, they keep it less than 10. Mm. Wait, what was the first one again? The Bears get seven, like, seven or more sacks. So oh, they yeah. basically have a. Yeah, I put five on that. <laughs> first and more than two. I just said you take what this. Was the second one again? The second one was at the. The Bengals and the Cards put up That's a combined like, 70 points. Got it, man. So they come out there fucking 35, 35, 42, 28. Fucking. I'm taking that one. You want to take that one? Yep. That, I like to be a Maverick. Okay. Mm, okay. Intriguing. And I feel like that's the most ridiculous one. That's why I put it on there. No, I feel no. like it's very likely to happen, though. I don't know why. Really? I feel like both those defenses are bad enough to just... Ah. Uh, I like, both where, offense, like, Andy Dalton, that. not in prime time. He's probably going to play nice. Kyler Murray against a bad defense uh, might start dying people up. Hey, Dan mm. Alex, can you name one player on the Bengals defense? Uh, like a starter. Geno Atkins? Dre Kirkpatrick? Damn, I do know Dre Those, those two. G- you know Geno Atkins. No I've been forgetting about him. I thought he was hard. And then besides that, is Carl Lawson. I don't know if he's still on their team. He's I not that so. amazing uh, or nothing. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the, the over 70. Okay. I, I like that. I like that. Did you uh, PayPal me my $10? Oh, I got you, brother. Ooh. Yeah, I want to make sure. Uh, what, about, what about Cash App? I don't need PayPal. Oh, I got Cash App. Ooh. Okay. Bro, it's so many that I got to use because some I got niggas who only use fucking Venmo. Venmo. I got niggas who only use Cash App. Right, what, what, and then shoes? I got niggas like Chase and my other roommates who only use Zelle. What? Bro. What's your yeah, shoes? nah, real talk. Oh. Zelle comes with the Sure. Yeah, yeah Zell is nice. Is this? I had to change it, bro, because my old phone has, you know, has cash out, <laughs> yeah. but let me beat on. <laughs> my it. nigga shit is long as fuck. Mm. Do you want to throw a pause on <laughs> that? <laughs> no pause. Uh, no. 
Yeah, all niggas ridiculous. Okay, I got you. Hey, but yeah, just quick story for the listeners. Just use PayPal. My okay. cash app used to be Let Me Be, and uh, my mm-hmm. one of my my best friend from like when I used to go to church and shit. His dad hit me up and he was like, "Hey man, how you doing?" I was like, "I'm good, I'm good." And he was like, "You going to church?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." And he was like, "I want to send you some money. What's your cash app?" And I was like, uh, "So I, I was like, hey, let me see your phone. I'll put it in. It's kind of complicated. I just put it in for him because I didn't want him to see. But then I had my sister had to send me some money a couple weeks ago, and she was like, what "The hell is this?" I was like, "I got, no, I got nothing for you." Yeah, All right, hold did on. Did you get the confirmation? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. Oh, oh yes, I did for that ten dollars for that he up that he up. <laughs> hey, ugly ass niggas over here. Uh, and he put a heart on it. Uh, hey, you know what I they say? If you like it, you better better put a ring on it or a thing on Word it. Tomorrow. Let that shit sing on it. All right, so now to some. This nigga is a rapper. So a few <laughs> to wrap it up with. We a could few. skip the Zion shit because that's not important. Yeah, real quick, okay. no, I'll let him talk about this. I'm no fucking Yankees baseball. back, nigga. You know the only baseball team you care about. You know we what I mean? Letting that dick spit, y'all niggas give it a lick because number twenty eight is on the way, and mm-hmm. that chase, that boy Chase is on the gay. Good night. 